This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Sattva Luxury Mattress, the only online mattress company that provides free delivery, setup, and mattress removal. Pow! Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to Your Mom's House with Tom Segura. Tom Segura. And Christina Pajitsi. Welcome to Your Mom's House. This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Manscaped. You know, I can tell you that from the time I was like 14, I've wanted to shape everything down there <laughs> into a nice, presentable uh, fashion for those. There's a lot will, to work with. There's all types of stuff. And we're not talking about meat. We're talking about hair. <laughs> there's a lot of hair masking what looks like Popeye looking through a field or a forest, you know, <laughs> one eye open. And I've, I, I can't tell you how many times I have been bitterly disappointed and actually physically harmed by inferior <laughs> clippers and just things that snag and cut and nick my beanbag. And I've bled <laughs> and I've, you know, disappointed some people who are like, What's that? Is that a disease or something, you know? <laughs> like some scally wagon that I met on hey, the streets. Hey. And then I go, no, it's just a cut from an inferior <laughs> blade. Here's what's wonderful is the great people at Manscaped, of which, by the way, they have now blessed our entire staff. Mm -hmm. They've blessed the entire staff with <laughs> their redesigned electric trimmer. Their lawnmower 2.0 has proprietary skin safe technology. So this trimmer won't nick or snag your nuts. Manscaping accidents are finally a thing of the past. Don't use the same trimmer on your face as you're using on your balls. Mm -hmm. That's just nasty. Why you gotta nasty. be so nasty? Manscaped also has the Crop Preserver, an anti-chafing ball deodorant and moisturizer. <laughs> you already put deodorant on your armpits. Why are you not putting deodorant okay. on the smelliest part of your body? <laughs> Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code MOM at manscaped.com always use the right tools for the job your balls are definitely going to thank you again get 20 percent off free shipping and a free travel bag with the code mom at manscaped.com that's 20 percent off with free shipping and a free travel bag at manscaped.com and use our code mom thank you manscaped it's fucking morning. <laughs> it's actually just after fucking morning. It's 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 now noon. Fucking afternoon. So it's noon now. Jamming on the one. Jamming, jamming on the one. Thank you, Aphrodisiac, for bringing us back to the crib. You know what I mean? Um, quickly, I can tell you that as of right now. Uh, the Late Show in Wichita has a few tickets left, as does the Kansas City Show on the 30th. The 29th is sold out, but the 30th at the Arvis Bank Theater has a few tickets left as well. From there, I roll on to Appleton, Wisconsin, Rockford, Illinois, Peoria, Cedar Rapids is sold out, and then Evansville, Indiana. Those are all in July. There are tickets available at tomsegura.com slash tour. Um, I then go on to the Northeast, Hampton Beach, Burlington, and then a big Canadian run. Mm. So there's late show tickets available in Toronto, Winnipeg, and Vancouver. Those are all in August, but you might want to get your tickets now. Gene? Gene, the Ride or Die Tour continues, please. I am begging you. Washington, D.C., the District of Columbia. I'm there June 20th through 22nd. I will give you a million dollars if you sell out my shows before I have to go. Just so I don't have to, what? You're committing to giving a million dollars A million dollars away? per customer if I don't have to wake up and do press to sell those last 10 GD tickets on that Friday Gosh, show. I wish we would talk about these agreements. Ugh, okay, moving right along. Um, August 2nd and 3rd, Salt Lake City, Utah. September 5th, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. September 6th, Chicago, Illinois. September 7th, Boston, Massachusetts. October, Nashville. November 22nd, Seattle. And finally, Portland to round out the year. Please get your tickets now, now, now. Christina P. Online. Thank you. Okay. It's exciting to know. Hey guys, when we did the dates, <laughs> I'm a total idiot, and I forgot to add the dates that we just put on sale. So, 
I'm stupid. And they are Pensacola, Florida, November 14th, Lake Charles, Louisiana, November 15th, Erie, Pennsylvania, December 5th, Columbus, Ohio, December 6th, and Grand Rapids, Michigan, December 7th. There, we have already added a second show, so get tickets to the second show in Grand Rapids. They're all at tomsegura.com slash tour. Thank you. Let's do it. Let's start the show. So, how long did it take you to walk, Dale? Dale, boy, talking to you. How long did your wife have to go without sex after your car accident? Because I'm walking. I'm ready to walk to North Carolina and fuck your wife. <laughs> this shit is big time! Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother to this. Your mom in the fucking stand! Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura, Tom Segura. and Christina Pajitsi. Christina Pajitsi. Welcome to your mom's house. audience likes this this bit. is what they want this is what they want <laughs> this is what the audience does the audience not want this this is all i've been hearing for oh, the last stop. two weeks like this is all they want this, this is, is what want. this is the verdict they want longer the intro. yeah longer intro <laughs> everybody's talking about it everyone wants a three-hour show of just the intro <laughs> my arguing inbox to is honestly like just make the intro longer <laughs> why do we even listen to your show Right. You know what? Uh, the other thing that's been yeah. coming up, I don't know if you've seen this or not. Yeah. I'll, I'll take a quick break from the intro for a second. No, no. What are you doing? Just for a moment. The audience is turned tuned out. <laughs> the audience. We lost, we lost them. I've seen a lot of requests for an intro only episode where it just plays the intro. Right. That's what he was just saying. No, but I'm saying like, let's put that out there. A one hour clip. Of right. the intro. Where it's you guys just rocking out to the intro for an hour. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to sit here for an hour and rock out to I'm that. not going to give our audience what they want. <laughs> That's what you just said. Well, I don't want to listen to that for an hour. I don't want them to be happy. Hey, I don't care if you're happy. I don't want you guys happy at all. That's what Look you how your said. pretty blue eyes match your pretty blue jacket. Thanks. So handsome. So shiny. <laughs> Eight more minutes. <laughs> yeah. There's no other podcast doing this. You have like a white supremacist jacket on. What are you talking what, about? Isn't that what uh, skinheads wear? It's a blue bomber. Oi, oi, oi. So, I mean, what's going on? You know, back in England in the 80s, that's what I think skinheads that Where wore are we jumping around? bomber are we jackets. Doing? I'm just trying to put perspective on the i don't know all right well look change the this fucking guy <laughs> i don't want to hear the theme song anymore all right fine this, is this guy gonna fuck your wife this guy does is, he have leg braces on? i love this guy this guy well first of all he sets up exactly what's going on in this open in the first clip here before my so, wife. to make sense of this all go ahead and play this six weeks ago today i tore the quadricep tendons on both my legs and look at me I'm walking down the street. I'm walking. Yes, indeed, I'm walking. I th here's what I love about this: is that in that in that clip, you're like, oh, it's just a guy who was in this horrific accident. Yeah. Who is? Uh, he's rehabbing and he's improving. Like, sure, that's a right. He's inspirational. Yeah. He's kind of OS. There is nothing about that clip that takes you to where it's gonna go. I'm that, excited those are to my see my favorite ones. Yeah. He's like. I'm just, I'm just rehabbing from this car accident <laughs> I was in. Look at me walk now. Aren't you proud of me? Right. And it's inspirational. Yeah, it's inspiring. I like, every, I like that kind of a story. Great. Hey, man. What else you got? <laughs> so, how long did it take you to walk, Dale? 
Dale. Dale? Boy, talking to you. How long did your wife have to go without sex after your car accident? Because I'm walking. I'm ready to walk to North Carolina and fuck your wife. <laughs> what was that bit? That's the, that's the fucking punchline on his bit. <laughs> He's like, but about beep. Whenever I zing him, I get a little beep. beep, beep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow, so I'm assuming Dale was like in the wreck with him, and he's like, "Look how look how know. much healthier I am, bitch." He, um, I mean, like he's he's really calling Dale out, you know. I kind of want to. How long did your wife have to go without sex? But here's the deal, man. I yeah. want to f that guy over Dale. You do because I like that kind of energy. Yeah. You know what I mean? I like. He's like, "Bitch, I'm gonna take you down." I'm like, I like you. But the uh, I like it. Masculine energy. Masculine energy. I the, love masculinity. The, the lane shift, though. You know why? No, like, I love it. My quadriceps. <laughs> Are growing back to Dale. You know what I'm right. gonna do? Yeah. I'm ready to walk to North Carolina and fuck your wife. I love it, <laughs> hey man. That it's, is that's quite it. a jump. You put some hot sauce on that game. I tell you, I went to school in North Carolina, and there's a lot of Dales there. So there's no way to limit this that's down. That's true. There's yeah, a lot of we Dales. We can't figure out who he's talking to. Why well, there is a lot of the Southern the Dales. Dales thing. are real popular there. And the, yeah. having like that be your second name. Yeah. Randy Dale. Mm-hmm. Doug Dale. Bobby Dale. Yeah, what is that? Gunner Dale. Yeah. Smart. That's what it is. <laughs> and let's see where he takes it somewhere else, even oh, here. Oh, no, there's more? Yep. Sure. Look at me. I'm walking. There's my walker, Dale. Nice awesome. little stroll. Six weeks after my accident, and I'm ready to fuck. Your little dick didn't work for fucking a year, faggot. <laughs> I'm in love with this guy. What did Dale? What's going on with Dale? I mean, Dale wasn't in this accident because he's citing that Dale couldn't get his dick up for a year. He knows Dale well, and it's also not playful. This is not his friend. You don't think so? Oh, I thought it was playful. No, that doesn't feel playful. Oh, I thought you were just talking. You think that feels playful? Yeah, it just feels like guys being. Am I I reading this wrong? But listen, you and you and your guy friends, you know, you you taunt each other you're so totally October. absolutely but you and a, bird and joe and there's Ari. A, there's a tone to this that to me doesn't read like you know like he's like i'm gonna i'm really gonna fuck your wife if he's it seems like and i'm ready to fuck i like love it i'm ready to fuck that guy too let's yeah, go yeah he doesn't really seem like <laughs> you little faggot i love it god i missed that word don't you think it feels genuine oh yeah this guy yeah really hates dale he hates dale he yeah. really hates dale yeah, he's uh, he's he's really calm. How long did she go without getting any dick? You're mm. right. Now that I hear it again, now that when you isolate the tones like yeah, that, the, the tone, tone is different. It's much can you, more. Can you play it again? Sure. <laughs> I like to hear uh, his... your little dick didn't work for fucking a year. Yeah, you're, yeah. no, you're right. I thought it was playful, like uh, alpha male stuff. Yeah, it's hostile. No, no, yeah, he hates Dale. He yeah. wants Dale to die. And he wants to fuck his wife. Yeah. He wants to kill him and then fuck his wife. It's a real fucking big threat, man. I'm going no. I'm I'm to walk with my broken legs to Bro. fuck your wife. I got to know the... I'm ready to walk to North Carolina and fuck your wife. Yeah. We got to get the backstory on these two. Anyway, we can, where's this from? Yeah. Uh, I think walking distance from North Carolina. I'm not 100% sure. No, no, where did the clip come it, from? It got sent into us. Wow. What, is it the original video sent? Like, um, did the person... Who filmed this? Send it in, I or is it a so. link to something? I need to do some. Uh, let me do some back channeling. Yeah. I brought this a minute ago. Yeah, I'd really like to meet this guy. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll see what more info I could dig up. on. Please this. do, because <laughs> this guy. I like it is though. The kind of guy I like to feature. I get. <laughs> you know what though? <laughs> and I and I know this is not politically correct in yeah. today's feeling climate. I I like guys like that. Yeah. I like masculine alpha no i'm serious like today we were taught like we were we were getting a coffee and we were talking about football and how that made you into a man waking mm-hmm. up doing those two what are they two, oh, two days yeah yeah and you're like it was hot as fuck and i fucking did it and it doesn't make me a pussy and i'm like yeah that's but that's why i'm attracted to you yeah you like when i lift things and move things oh my and, god yeah. yeah yesterday you were opening the big umbrella and i yeah. was like that's my baby daddy right that's there yeah. i just like watching you do guy stuff and yeah. it gets me excited i'm like you're, that's why you're my boo yeah sure i'm a man 15 years i know fucking kicking people in the face i love it did masculine that. i don't want to hear all your feelings but i, I want to see you i saw a guy lying on the sidewalk and i kicked him kicked in the, the face. shit out of a guy yeah. Shoving a bike pedal up his butt. That's right. What's that guy doing? Crack your fucking jaw, man. Yeah, but it's yep. gone a little too far. <clears throat> Lately, you've really been 
into these wife murdering shows. You like masculine. That's masculine. That's a lot. Like last, masculine. last couple of nights you've been watching a movie. And no, no, you said, oh, I'm watching the best movie last night. You go, yeah, it was oh, great. I'm watching so the this best movie, movie. I, I guess uh, it's called Fracture and it came out <laughs> a few years ago. Uh, and it has your boy. I mean, it has Ryan Gosling, who you love. I know, but I have to say, it, from what I watched, he's it's not lit 10, oh, well. It's Twelve years ago, Jesus. he's not lit well, and he doesn't yeah. look as cute as he normally does. Or maybe he was just younger. But the premise: spoiler alert, spoiler alert. He's too the young. The premise yeah. of the movie is that in like the first couple scenes, you see Anthony Hopkins put a bullet in his wife's fucking face. <laughs> so right away. You're hard. You're ready to fucking watch a fun movie. And then, <laughs> and then there's a, uh, there's a trial and it's just really, it's, it's a, it's a legal, you know, it's like a courtroom drama, mm-hmm. but, um, man, he plays a great lunatic mm-hmm. Hopkins. Are you studying him? Cause that's uh, what your future in cinema. I would love to play that kind of role. Look at Ryan. See, he doesn't look as hand. Maybe it's, it's 12 years ago. The movie. Yeah, I like him aged now. Yeah, He's aged a little more. <laughs> Yeah, the thing is, is that you're you're really into this film, and you've been on a theme. I feel of like wife murder. You know what's great though in the movie? Like, there's this thing that happens where you're like you're pulling for Hopkins. You know, you're like, come on, man, get away with it. Like, you're you're like happy for him, you know. And he's very masculine. Like you like he's a he's a real man. No, Anthony Hopkins is not. He's a gentleman. Well, he's a gentleman, but in this movie, you're like, yeah. She's fucking talk shit, get hit, you know? Talk so, shit, get No, that's, that's kinda, not what I mean, That's kind of what happens. Like, you don't want a bullet through your face? Maybe shut the fuck no, up. No, that's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm just yeah. talking about, I, I like a little masculine men. I like a little yeah. stink on me too. the nut. You know this what I mean? This is me too. I'm, I, like, I like... I like Pete. I like the fuzz on the peach. Fuzz on the peach. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Little man, manly men. Manly men. But I, I worry about you, and I'm being sincere because... You, before the wife murder, it was, you were watching Ted Bundy. There was like a two for one movie deal on iTunes. I'm being serious. It It was was Ted Bundy and who else? It was like a back to back move, double feature. I don't know. Maybe Bundy and then some. Maybe it was the Green River Killer. The Green River Killer. And I'm telling you this. It's like, I love you. Yeah. And I worry about your mind because I've, you listen, I quit smoking through hypnosis i'm a huge fan of the unconscious mind and mm-hmm. studying how that works and neuro-linguistic yeah. programming great and the yeah. su- power of suggestion and i have to tell you that that's a, a big thing is you got to watch what you what garbage you're putting in your mind before sleep it's very important now there's a cool guy <laughs> that's how i felt about and, bundy and the green River right that's what i'm saying is that you're filling your mind with garbage murder terror fear i don't and then you're like mm, good night yeah like just happy as can be sleep great green river killer sleep night great. night mommy <laughs> i mm. love it puts me right to bed and here's the deal i never <laughs> yeah la 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 and i like to dream about yeah. rainbows and puppies and unic joy i have great dreams. i have dreams where i'm flying what do i i'll tell you what i watch before sleep um rom- romantic comedies i like marie kondo she t- tried to tidy up you know, like yeah. gentle, stupid, right? TLC shows. They're that's great silly, too. silly, silly. Sure, that's what you like. Shaws of Sunset, silly, silly. We like different things. Right, but how can you go right to sleep after? Like a baby. I had a great dream last night. What do you, can I tell I you something? I had a great dream last night. I got, I, in my dream, you know, there's a. You killed your wife no, and you're happier than there's ever. A, we have a handicapped neighbor across the street. <laughs> I dreamt that I, I broke into their house and I tied them up and okay. I, <laughs> I just, I, I killed him and his wife. But do you, but do you understand? <laughs> like I've been and you sleeping know what? next Everybody to you. was saying in my dream, they're like, you're a pretty masculine guy. Okay. And I was like, yeah, sh- shut up. May I say something though? What? Real, mm-hmm. real talk. I wake up mornings. I woke the other day. I had this dream that I was in a Wes Anderson style house. Everything was Wes Anderson and I was beautiful in this beautiful dress and I was in a party. I like it. Right. Positive. In 15 years, I've never, ever once woken up with you and you went, you know what? I had the best dream. It was, I was flying and I was free as a bird and I was a, you know what I mean? Like there's never a joyful dream. I've had joyful dreams. I've had joyful dreams, but I like terror. Yeah, I like <laughs> you got to fill your mind up with garbage before you sleep. I like mystery, suspense. I like 
the last image I like to see <laughs> right. as I fall asleep is just someone screaming. Right. Every, that's what you're that's what you're doing to yourself. But you I, understand but that I that's what tell you're you something. doing. I am in heaven when I have those <laughs> thoughts and dreams. I really feel <laughs> That doesn't scare Pleased. you. <clears throat> no, I like it. I like no, it. No, I'm being I'm being dead serious though that this kind of garbage in your mind, mm -hmm. this terror, this fear, this mm -hmm. doesn't affect you, you think, unconsciously? Uh, no. No. I, I, I would good. beg to differ. I would think if we had shrinks listening. <laughs> yeah. I just don't I think like it's it. it's good for I you. I like mysteries. Yeah, there see that's what Tommy likes. Ah, my husband's gonna kill me. That, 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 that feels that's interesting and it makes you smile it's fun yeah i love seeing that expression women terrified that's your fit that's it that's it that's the kind of shit that he's watching as i'm going to sleep i that's, hear this yeah that is women I, screaming mascara down their face that is a dream to me that's a dream look how does this relax you i'm just saying like to unwind this is your unwind i know she's not going anywhere oh my god you know how are you unwinding to this <laughs> shit <laughs> look at that guy <laughs> <laughs> so what's the um what's the her dream is like the uh it's the no here's what i like to watch before bed rainbow i literally i like tiktok yeah. i will tell you that <laughs> jesus christ i have a problem i have a problem what hold on what's but, this? but hold on i like puppies rainbows and you like trees. Tic now, you were watching tiktok the whole time when i was finishing that movie the other night because i don't want to hear murder killing you're kill, seeing kill, kill. complete chaos though it's not chaos it's people singing nice songs. no unstable people with not everything going on it's not normal no at all. it's nice simple people singing simple, simple people songs. is a real special way of saying it but simple people are happier okay <laughs> So, Christina, so yeah. you said you like to see rainbows before I you go to rainbows, sleep. love rainbows, yep. I know you're not going to sleep just yet, but we do have a rainbow-themed <laughs> clip for you. <laughs> oh. Okay. Excite. Easy out here chilling, you know what I'm saying? I'm thugged out, nigga, but I just seen a motherfucking rainbow, Nick. Whoa. I ain't that motherfucker thug down, nigga. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. My baby mama probably at the end of that bitch with a gold digging ass, Nick. <laughs> it's a beautiful rainbow. But see, anybody can get stoked anybody on can a rainbow. Appreciate a rain That's true. Who's not getting stoked on Look rainbows? Look at the size of that rainbow. Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, it's a huge, perfect, beautiful rainbow. It's a double rainbow. And even a thugged out gangster's like, yeah. He's like, my baby mom's at the end of that rainbow. Gold digging With all my gold. Yeah. <laughs> He's right. That's pretty fucking funny, man. That's a dope rainbow. Yeah. That is a beautiful I'm rainbow. I'm surprised you can even enjoy that kind of thing, knowing what you really like. TikTok? Murder. No, TikTok really brings joy. <laughs> TikTok. Your TikTok shit is just... Off the chain? People really love my <sighs> curations. My Insta stories are blowing up. Whoa. Yeah, they love it. Yeah. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. 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 Are we looking at my, my curation for the week? More? Yeah, I, I got a couple of that you sent us over the oh, weekend. Oh, here Let's we go. See Let's see it. Warm it up, Chris. I'm about to. Here we go. Yep. <clears throat> PSA. Please stop using the fucking audio contract if you don't know who ICP is and you've never fucking... It's very offensive to me as a let and the other lows and lets out there. I'm pretty sure of it. <laughs> ICP love your makeup, but not that you don't know the words. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So she's really upset if you claim that ICP is what you're into, but you're like not familiar with all the lyrics. Well, listen to it again. Not fully dedicated yes, to the Yes, are you into it or not? Yeah, yeah. PSA. Please stop using the fucking audio contract if you don't know who ICP is and you've never fucking... It's very offensive to me as a let and the other lows and lets out there. I'm pretty sure of it. ICP you love your makeup, but not that you don't know the words. <laughs> yeah, posers. She really takes it seriously. She does, babe. Yeah. So I've fallen into the juggalette hole now on tiktok and then i fell into the cosplay how do you fucking hole. do this i don't know i like the wrong people and i go into different lanes okay i that, like the wrong people oh, is oh, the name of your next wait, album this is my favorite i've fallen down the witchcraft hole now on tiktok the witches are my favorite okay this watch right this here is a selenite charging plate this little friend of mine is a selenite palm stone and this is a selenite wand that works with your chakras. Selenite is great. It never needs cleansing or charging and anything you place on or near it gets cleansed and charged your lazy quick witch Duh. <laughs> okay. These are all the witches. I fell down the witch rabbit hole on yeah. TikTok. I love the witchcraft ones. Those are good. What else do I got? Hi. I have to do this really quickly because I don't have a lot of time. Um, I'm supposed to tell you about myself. I'm a boy. My name is Pisces. I'm about seven years old. I'm very feminine, even if I'm a guy. Um, my mama is Scorpio and my papa is Gemini. Bye. 
Okay. Lit. I've. I. I don't know. I don't know. I don't even so know. So much more <laughs> emotionally bothered by that clip <laughs> Why? than any but serial see, killer documentary I've ever seen. But that makes me go right to sleep happy because that like, does because that, that makes me chuckle. I'm like, this bitch is crazy. Good night. <laughs> like I love. This makes me happy. This brings me joy. This psycho shit. Make yourself useful, you stupid, dumb, fucking cock sucking motherfucker. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, that's, what was that drop about? That was about this girl. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh that's like, well, yeah. she's a Gemini and a Pisces, and oh. she's also a boy. How don't... do you not hate her? Hi, I have to do this really quickly because oh, I don't have a lot of time. Um, I'm supposed to tell you about myself. I'm a boy. My name is Pisces. I'm about seven years old. I'm very feminine, <laughs> even if I'm a guy. Um, my mama is Scorpio, and my papa is Gemini. Bye. I don't know. Okay, I think I don't we got know. it. Is it cosplay or something? <laughs> These fucking nerds and their cosplay. Yeah. I can't stand the cosplay community. Sorry if you're listening and you like to dress like a Pegasus or whatever on the weekends, <laughs> but I don't get it. I don't get it yeah. at all. And they really commit. Like when they do their TikToks, the cosplayers, they're they like, really, really like, hi. I'm the jelly bean fairy. Listen and to my me, mom. you piece of fuck. One, <laughs> I'm not bisexual. Two, I'm not gay. Three, no, I'm not goddamn fat. I'm skinny as hell. And four, I'm fucking wicked. If you have a problem, you can go fuck yourself. Oh, I love that guy. Yeah. See, that's uh, pre TikTok. He, sh he should have been TikToking <laughs> like a motherfucker. And I'm fucking wicked. I'm fucking wicked, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that guy's the best. Yep. Pretty and good. I'm fucking wicked. You know what they listen to me, you piece of fuck. <laughs> you know what they like to do on TikTok too is they'll do like rich boy check. You know that you know that whole thing, and no. then they show like their stuff that that makes nothing them that you uh. are saying <laughs> is anything anybody knows. <laughs> when you're like, you know what they're doing on TikTok? No, no none of us know. <laughs> well, I'm here to tell you what's cool. I'm like cool learning mom. how to put sentences together. Yeah, I'm a cool yeah. mom. Anyways, yeah. so what they do now, too, because there's different ones. There's, like, goth check, and then the girl's, like, dancing to Bauhaus. Then they, wait, there's, like, witch check, and then, You realize, like, like, half the people you follow on TikTok aren't even toilet trained yet? <laughs> They're really not. You know, I really wish you'd respect different people's lifestyles and no, choices. No, I respect it. And, you know, if you just open your mind a little. Yep. Hmm. Yep. Anyway, I have a coffee station update I wanted to show you guys. Yeah. I've um, bought a different thing on Amazon. Purchased through our banner. Go to your mom's house podcast.com. Click on the banner at the bottom of the homepage. You're shopping as you normally would. I got a white one to match our furniture. Yeah. What it's pretty think? amazing. I'll it's tell you something. Dope. You know, this might sound elaborate if you're listening, but it's really it's not. not. <laughs> all, all she did, if you want this, I think it's a game changer, is you just put yeah, bro. your your coffee your keurig or yeah. whatever your nespresso hundred dollars change your life in the in your home your up your master bathroom yeah and it's like you wake up and you just have a coffee ready to go well it's and you see what great. i've added here too i've got yeah. my pods down there mm -hmm. i've got the mugs yep and i've added a sono speaker so yep. that i may listen to my jams in the morning too and that's a tiny fridge up on the upper right i For put the milk, milk in yeah. there and then i use agave sweetener in my coffee but it's pretty. This is pretty cool because it's pretty exciting. You put your music on, then you can shake off those terrifying nightmares. <laughs> oh, you're telling then, me. Uh, you know, but the night so, terrors that I've had. Something fresh in your mind. Yeah. Well, no wonder I sweat all night. <laughs> all I hear is screams when I sleep. <laughs> <laughs> God. It's I'm pretty terrified great. <laughs> of of my practice. I'm practicing. Gosh, uh, I'm man. fucking wicking. I'm fucking wicking. Listen to me, you piece of fuck. <laughs> Wicking. All right. Yeah, it's great, man. I'm really happy about it. Yeah, it's a life changer. It's a game changer. It's a, it's a game changer. Um, yeah. So, listen. But the other day, what? The okay. Go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, so, oh yeah, this is something we wanted to do. Is there any way we can get Josh to say a few words? <coughs> I don't want to say them for him. Yeah. But we're gonna have him say these words. <laughs> Just to hear how he says them. He said something incorrectly before during our meeting, and I I wish I could remember. I was like, oh, that's yeah, not he, that's yeah, not right. He says everything. So I, for the record, I say everything correctly. 
it's the it's the rest oh, of the world. Can wrong. I ask you one other thing? <laughs> yeah. Did you did you contact our winner of your contest? Uh, that- I haven't. Uh, have we contacted her? No, I, not yet, but we will. I didn't think I should make the. Should I make the first oh contact? My, Why are would you, you guys not? Yeah. Be more official. Are you R worded? Yeah. Get on this. This chick the wants to bang it. Yeah, but still, I mean, all right. Yeah, that makes um, sense. Okay. <laughs> No, that makes sense. Oh, we're, we're, oh we're pre- it's okay. We have to reveal it. That's right. That's right. Okay. All right. So everybody th- thinks you're R word. So will you, <laughs> will you say these large, bold words and just see how you say them? Well, I know how I say them. Yeah, that's how. Say that's yeah, you want uh, supplementary, <laughs> <laughs> documentary, comp- complimentary, and that says Cassandra. Yeah, you got that right. But yeah, yeah. so a movie like. Like always amazing is is a a documentary, yeah. No. <laughs> and, if, and if you're saying it, everyone, if somebody says, "Hey, you're a beautiful lady." That's very complimentary. Are you being serious? Is that's that how, how you... I would have said it until I've been pointed this out. And now, in, not in front of you, I wouldn't say it that way. Complimentary. Literally, everyone from Western New York has piped in and said, "This, you are correct." Tom and Christina are the R-worded ones. <laughs> I, I don't so you're telling us it's a regional dialect thing? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, but that makes sense. I right. Mean, yeah. People say things stupidly in different yeah, parts of the country. Dumb. No, and I mean we're in the south basically, so who knows? I mean you guys are like We're in the south? Yeah. What do you mean? What? LA is the south south of the country. Of what? No. No. It the is. south is not the not hot. we're close to Mexico, right? right? Right. So that's like the south. So people talk our worded here too. Okay. <laughs> We should do a geography lesson with him, too. You know that the South res- refers to the Southeast, though. You know that. Well, yeah, sure, I guess. Okay. But but you um, you talk good. I th- talk well, yes. Wow. <laughs> Super. T- there, that's, suck on that one. That's elementary. Wow. <laughs> now who's elementary? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, Josh, people want to know about RPC. What is the status of your visit with him? Uh, I will be going there this weekend. Cool. So by the time the next episode airs, <laughs> you will have a real update. I would have landed on the moon by then. Yes, yes. come oh back to God. come back to Earth. Man, I am excited. Oh my for gosh, that. he's been commenting on my Instagram photos and stuff, and he's like, "Sexy pic," or "Oh yeah, yeah. funny yeah. vid." Yeah. Who are the pics of Tom? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I'm so excited for your update. I really. Oh my am. gosh. I mean, you're either it's either going to be. A phone call from the coroner's office, or it's going to be <laughs> you <laughs> coming back here to tell us an amazing story. One of the two. Yeah. Either, either one I'm excited for. I'm excited. Yeah, that coroner's going to have some real <laughs> secrets, too. If that happens, he's going to be like, whoa. He's going to be like, it's much more than just a simple homicide. <laughs> you have no idea. I have a sneaking suspicion that his bathroom might be less than sanitary. Could be. No, you think so? It might be worse than an Arco. The bathroom. weird thing is, like, you're going to discover so much more by spending the night oh there. Oh my god! So, <laughs> what if he doesn't have a bathroom? He does. Yeah. Wait, is Josh really going to sleep over there? I sure hope so. I mean, me too. If all goes well enough. <laughs> <laughs> Elementary. <laughs> <laughs> if he invites you to sleep over, you have to. Yeah, you have to. I'll just say that. Just get ripped. We over want it. you to come back alive. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, all right, hold on. I got to move on. So, so somebody wanted you to know. Oh Christ! It says CP isn't the only R word. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> what a compliment! You are completely retarded. Okay. It says for years when I washed my blender, I would put the sponge down into it and cut my fingers on the blades, <laughs> like one out of three times. Then this girl I started dating showed me <laughs> how you can unscrew the bottom and wash all three components separately. What? This blew my mind. I was 33 years old. <laughs> Daniel. Love it. Yeah. I could hear these stories all day. Me too. Those are my favorite. I love these. Guys, send us your, your R-worded stories. Yeah. Okay. Were you, you, use the <laughs> where you've been doing things wrong your whole life oh, until somebody showed you? Now. I remember the time. Remember that yogurt fudge? Yeah. F-A-G-E. Oh, and it had yeah. the fruit component. It had the component, yeah. And then for you. And it folds over. And I was like, oh, you can just fold it in. That. And you were like, what? I didn't know that. Like, well, why do you think it folds directly <laughs> in? 
<laughs> for years i would like scoop out the fruit put it in there yeah. slop it up and yeah. i was like one day i just saw you tip it over i was all what dude i know uh, we were in our 30s <laughs> We're in our thirties, but I didn't know you could unscrew the bottom of a blender. I didn't know. Yeah. Oh my god, because I—that's how I wash our blender. Oh, I just put my hand in there. I wouldn't have it. even known that it has. You know, I would. I would think you wash it with the lid on. <laughs> how does the water get in there? This is stupid. I'm. I'm so dumb. <laughs> so. Uh, um, this is something. Oh my god, I'm so. I love hearing these. This. Please send in more R-worded moments so, that you've discovered. This is something I'm so fascinated by. Okay. <sighs> so I tweet the other day. Yeah. I tweet. <laughs> Um, hey, like I can help you sell, I can help you sell your worn panties and socks. Let's, let's work together to build something for both of our futures. Uh, hit me up with handshake. Oh, that's you know? HMU. Yeah. Cool mom. I didn't so, know that one. Sounds like you're up. on TikTok too. So anyways, it gets a bunch of obviously like. <laughs> a lot of heat on this tweet, Tom. Oh uh, yeah. A lot, it gets a lot of joke, joke responses, obviously. Sure. Like it's a, it's a prompt for a joke. And then <laughs> it gets a, a few, a handful of like, hey, I'm actually really doing this. Of course. And then I go, oh, like, well, I can tell people how to do it. Yeah. And, and someone's like, well, I'd rather just like, you know, email you directly about it. I go, okay. So I get an email. But here's the fascinating part about this. We've been talking about this for a long time. Well, you know? I have always felt that women should be doing this. That if you're struggling, why not sell your worn panties? Yeah. Why not kick a guy in the nuts if that's what he wants? Right. Why I mean, I, I've said it for... Here's the thing. If I, if I could have done this shit back and if the internet was as big as it was when I was coming up as a comic, I would have fucking done this. Here's the thing Easily. that the internet and these platforms have provided. This is accessible to anyone now. Yeah. Dude, here's... Here, okay, my favorite part of... I'm going to get into the details. Yes, let's instruct but the that, audience on how they can sell well, their worn this panties. Is what, this is what she said. First of all, she's been doing this 10 days. Wow. So we're not talking about a veteran. We're talking <laughs> about somebody who just started... <laughs> And was like, dude, I'm making money right now. Yeah. And she's like, yeah, I'm happy to tell people what I do, how I do it. And, you know, and tell people that like, look, if you're a woman and you're in debt or just need extra cash, yeah. I really don't think this is a bad thing to get involved I, in. I agree. If you're a woman and you're not I'm selling serious. your soiled panties <laughs> and socks, get your life. It's kind of crazy. Um, so I'm going to tell so, you. Yeah, tell them how, how much money we can make. Dude, so... It starts by this woman's friend tweets something, and then as a joke, she sees it and goes, hey, uh, anyone want feet pics? I want to sell them. Mm -hmm. She goes, some dude must have been searching that, found my thread, hit me up, asked for a preview. I sent him one, and then he's, he was like, hey, I want more, started sending me money to send him pictures. How much money are we talking? Um, well, let's see here. So for the preview, sent me like 50 bucks. Oh, pfft. Then, um, what's the preview? What does that just mean? Like, what do your feet look like? Then, but isn't that the picture of your feet? Then? Well, that's one. Then, some dude was like, I want a hundred, send me $120 to take a two minute video of my boyfriend tickling my feet. That's, Easy, man. That's money. 120 bucks in two minutes. <sighs> Come on, that's two minutes. Then, another customer wanted pictures of my feet while I was sleeping, so it's just like feet sticking out oh, of the bottom of the sheets. Come on, dudes. Then another guy, $135, just random numbers, for a Fortune. video of me putting my feet to the camera, telling him that he's a disgusting pervert. Oh, easy money. Now I offer my used panties and socks. Um, I'm sending a few to Ohio. The guy asked him to be filthy and disgusting, so I'm going to give sure. him what he wants. check. I'm diving deeper into this uh, world by doing things like... Uh, she goes, I'm not pegging people or doing things up the ass, but like telling people that they're pieces of shit, direct messages. Mm, they're paying oh. me for that. Oh, they're I They're calling do that? me goddess and mommy and sending me Amazon gift cards and Starbucks gift cards. Great. Shit, I got to sign up for this. I know. Um, she just started doing this 10 days ago, 800 bucks in like a week. Amazing. Then says, oh, so here's what she goes. This is all I would tell people to do. You just Instagram account. Whatever your lane is, okay. start putting pictures of that. So it up. sounds like she's really strong in the feet and, and used panty care category. So she's got nice feet and soiled panties. And she said, "You so you start putting up your you do your Instagram account with whatever your thing is: feet, armpits, you know, armpits underwear. are a lane too. Yep, underwear, socks, whatever. And you do that, and then you go, hey, here's here's what it is. If you want a custom thing, hit me up." You have your direct messages open. You set up a Venmo or a PayPal <laughs> account and you just go like, and here's the thing. Oh, she said, the thing that I learned, you got to get money up front 
Uh huh. So makes sense. you go like you get the money up front. Um, she goes, it's mind boggling. I've been in this ov- just over a week. People are asking my advice. I'm giving it to them. Um, you, help me. Yeah, she's like, I'm I'd like to see this chick's account. It sounds like she's here. It is. I'll tell you what it is. She says we can we can we can plug it. Plug her. Yep. Okay. It is feet. Bo- it's with three e's. F e e t. Right. F e e e t. Sorry. By B Y K K A Y. That's it. Now, I uh, I always thought it was illegal to send panties in the mail because of body fluids. I don't know about this stuff. Well, I think so. No. No. You got to go to Instagram first, probably. Search it within Instagram. Or just do the handle. Just do the at F-E-E-E-T by K. There, there she is. is. K. Oh, there she is. Look, she just started. She just started. DM me for business. Cash app Venmo. Like, just. Wow. And look it. at every. She's got nice. She's got the dog there next to her feet. Yeah, that's it. And, and then they're she's not. like, do you want a custom video? Just send me. And for those of you listening, like, do my feet have to be exceptional? Her feet are really nice. She's yeah. got great feet. Sure. Pretty feet. These are pretty. They're the same color nails I yeah. got on right now. It's pretty feet. So she did her thing. Pretty she face. Pretty girl. Yeah. Dude. I'm saying if you if you're talking about in a week 800 bucks for your first week doing it like you're gonna start paying your rent and shit off of this I mean like I said had this existed and panties how much you think panties oh if you're if you're uh, like I'm gonna send you my filthy panties yeah um that I sweat and farted in um no I would do it now I used to know a female comic that did it back in the or back in the day when we were coming up yep. and she would meet guys behind the Chuck E. Cheese and have a, her bag full of panties and exchange them because she said that she got caught trying to mail them FedEx. Yeah. FedEx, sorry, I said that wrong. And you can't. By the way, I always I, I always clear the plug. I clear saying, hey, you want your thing plugged? Please, uh, you know, check her out. Be nice. And if you want to request something, do it. But, you know, don't harass her. I'm just trying to No, tell be her. nice to her. Be nice to her. Um, I, I always try, because, I mean, most of our fans are super cool with it, but... Um, so oh, the last line, the last yeah. thing that she says is, um, P S I love the, I love the podcast. I always keep it high and tight. I want to challenge your mom to a fart duel. Interesting. And I'm like, it got me thinking <laughs> how much money is my mom leaving on the table? You're telling me, you know? So <laughs> it's like, that is. That's a that's a serious but one. But this whole dirty panty stuff, it's mm-hmm. a waste if you're not a woman. If you're doing this and you're, I'm sorry, if you're a woman and you're not doing this. I mean, look how many dirt bags want to buy your dirty panties. Can I tell you this too? If you're a woman out there, I know we've talked about this before, or guy, I'll just say, but like, you know, listen, if you're like, oh, but I don't, I don't have the prettiest butt or. Doesn't feet, matter. Dude, doesn't matter. Somebody out there is totally into you. Do you I'm think, serious. What, I mean, what, have, what about celebrity panties? This is something that I feel like is, is has so much. What about like podcast f- panties? I mean, I think, I Mom think, panties, two I think kids the a... amount of money that like, can you sure. imagine if like a, somebody on TV was just like, <laughs> I'm saying like, they don't need it, but like, if they were like, eh, like whatever the fucking star of CSI was like, like eh, yeah. I'm just gonna, do you guys want my panties I wore on set today? I farted a bunch. <laughs> I think the the amount of money they could make, <laughs> or yeah, what's her name? The Latin Charo, the the Latin one on Modern Family. Oh my Sophia god, Sofia Vergara. Yeah, Sofia Vergara. Yeah. Uh, she sold her panties. Oh my god, she'd make more than she would on the damn sitcom for sure. I mean, She's people like, would be like, just I farted all day. Yeah, I, I farted. I make so many farts. I had tamales. <laughs> I had lomo saltado, and then oh, I just fart my ceviche farts all day. <laughs> This chick could make a fortune. Well, first of all, she would just be like, it starts at, you know, five grand a panty. E- a- at then, least. Yeah. Then she's all of a sudden, she's breaking in 50 grand a week on her panties. I know. I mean, this is, this is the lane <laughs> to be in. But I also think, <laughs> I also think you could sell your panties. There's a lot of That's dirt the bag thing. gay I'm, men I feel out like there. I'm limiting it to women. I, I feel like if you're a guy, dude, if you're a good looking guy, I'm serious. Like, let's say you're a, I buy Ryan Gosling's dirty panties. That's what I'm, so... If if some good looking dude actually. is struggling for cash, <laughs> yeah. I bet you could try the same thing. Of course dude, you can. Set up your account. <laughs> 
set it up under a fucking weird name. And then the thing is the hashtags. You just have to look for the right hashtag. So find the popular hashtag for that thing. Right. And start putting up pictures and be like, what kind of custom video do you want? Josh, our own Josh Potter, just changed his bio because <laughs> he wants to test the waters on the potential what? panty and sock. He's going to sell stuff. his nasty panties. Why not? There's somebody sock. out there that'll like it. There's a gay dude out there that wants Josh's filthy Absolutely. Stuff. And I want him to make that money. I mean, there's probably going to be, we'll probably have this, he'll probably do this a couple of weeks and be like, you know, I can't work here anymore. Man. I got, this, uh, <laughs> I got these panties and socks that I'm selling. So... Let's, I know um, it's such a great business. I mean, it's so crazy. Not do you think your mother would be interested in going down this lane with us? No, but I think that she wants that money. <laughs> I think when the, when we start talking dollars, I think we should try to convince her. Do you think that when I get really old, I could do this? Like Absolutely, elderly panties. Of would course. you mind? Do you understand that the there's a genre for everything? It's always there. Somebody wants a 90 year old woman to fart in his face. <laughs> Absolutely. Men, you know, it's so funny. Women are like, oh, the patriarchy sucks. Like, does it? Because there's dudes out there that make, they make more money than us, than us, but like they'll pay for your dirty panties. A hundred percent. And they're stupid. Like they'll do that because they're horny and they're dumb. And that's all they want. I know. And they want nothing else. I know. And they've got all the money. Sure. Spend your money and then on they're my like, panties. Tell me I'm a piece of shit. Yeah. And this girl's like, yeah. you suck. You're yeah. a piece of shit. Cha-ching, cha-ching, Give me $100. cha-ching, hundred dollars. <laughs> There's this thing Some too. of you were tweeting that already. <laughs> You're just, I know. I do that. Yeah. You're an asshole. Where's yeah. my money? There's a one one type of fetish thing where you drain somebody's bank account and yeah. that, and they get off on you draining their bank account. Yeah. Like how stupid is that? It's fantastic. I know. Be that person. Be the woman that drains the dude's balls and bank account. There you go. Go after or it. Or kicking man. guys in the nuts. I've always said that. I, I could do that. Some, I mean, yeah. Oh, easy peas. Yeah. They want it. Um, I'm here. I'll kick your nuts. I'm home here now. So I'm super excited, by the way. So we're going to call Charo. Yeah. One of the things you should know is that I told her there was merch coming out. There's merch on sale now. Okay. And I told her about this. I said, there's merch <laughs> coming out with you. And she was so Thrilled. upset. <laughs> she was so upset. What do you uh, mean? You, you can't see it there, but it's on the store. So it, it is on the store. Go to merchmethod.com slash Tom Segura. There's Charo mugs and there's Charo shirts. <laughs> that says, you're not my son anymore. From her famous fart video. <laughs> so I'm going to bring anymore. it back up to her. And um, it's just, it is so amazing how upset she got. It's like, it's my favorite thing ever. Okay. She's really mortified right now yeah. by the campaign. Yeah. She's not how far happy. we've gone. No. 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 This is honestly my favorite thing I've ever done in my life. Of course. This is what we've, we've been working on this for a decade. And watch, I set her up to, to do this call. And she won't answer the phone. Yeah, she'll be like, yeah. I, I left it. And the dogs are barking. Yeah. Or she'll be like, no, I just have to gonna... find the phone. Yeah. I'm like, your call has no, been forwarded safe. to yep. an automatic voice. Yep. And I told her, I told her I was doing this. Why are all parents R worded when it comes to like answering Jesus the phone, Christ, changing the channel? I know. It's like, man. they can't do a damn thing. I know. Is this it's... just what happens when you turn 70? I think so. Your life just becomes like, oh, I can't answer the phone. It's super, oh, man. It's, I'm never going to do this to my children, just so you know. Yeah, well, we say that, and then it'll change. Oh. But it's absolutely, dealing with this is like, this brings me closer to rage than yeah. anything else. Why don't you start watching mom murder movies? And now I'm calling He's him. He's kill me. Calling Top Dog? Yeah, to try to get a hold of her. Like, the way that we set it up. I, I like I literally <laughs> watch and now I'm gonna call again. Yeah, hello. I'm like, well, I've told you I was calling. I couldn't you. find the phone, Tommy. So and then go. you're gonna be mad at her, and then she's gonna have to deal with your rage. Hello. Hey, mom. I, I'm calling you from that line that <laughs> I told just... you I was calling you from. No, what happened is I was outside with the dogs, Tommy. Okay, so can I talk? <laughs> can I call you now from it? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna call you right back. Okay. 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 I mean. But she knows you're just going to call. So why is she going outside with the dogs? She knows you're going to call. This is like. I know. It's, it's infuriating. <sighs> okay. Okay. Here it's we like go. parents just become R worded. This just happens when you get old. Their logic doesn't make sense. Oh my God. Thank God my mom's dead. <laughs> I don't have to talk to her anymore. My dad's going to die soon, probably. 
Ja. Ach, das ist unnerving. Hallo? Charo! Tom! Hey! Hey! What's going on? Not much, not much. Well, cleaning, disinfecting. Uh, there's a couple things that like people are fired up about. Number one, your merchandise is selling like hotcakes. Well, that better be a joke. It's not a joke. You're, no, Tommy. You have mugs, you have t-shirts, you have pillowcases, towels, hats, keychains. We did a whole line and it is honestly the hottest seller that we have had. We even have like flash drives. We have umbrellas, backpacks, everything embroidered. And well, don't, for, don't forget to add it's sleeping bags, robes. Yeah. People um, are, people are. some bags for the floor and something for the dogs to eat. And yeah, people are. Mom, add it, add it. This is a whole fashion line now where. Very funny for me. No. Nope. funny. Do you realize that you have sold my soul? Your soul? I'm so embarrassed. My family doesn't even want to see me anymore. What are you talking about? Mom. Armando sent me a text and he says, I didn't know you were a celebrity. Are you selling yourself cheap? <gasps> Mom, said, do you understand was, that people are consi- talking about you like you're a god? Yeah, a god of art? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Who's interested in being a god of that? Well, you are. You, do you realize well, you're probably top three in the world at something? So, <laughs> I don't know if to laugh or to cry when you talk. Well, this is true. Can you imagine? This is can true. You imagine, can you imagine how embarrassing this is for me? <laughs> to, you know, I ne- to be since, since that incident, since that incident, I haven't left my house. <laughs> well, I, I have good here for the fear that I might run into somebody who <laughs> happened to see your stupid thing, and they look at me and I say, "Oh my God!" And the only thing that they are seeing is my butt, not my face. Well, the. <laughs> The combined views are around 2 million now <laughs> on all the platforms. And yeah, very, very funny. No, it's true. It's true. When you combine the Instagram, the Twitter, the YouTube, all the views, yeah, it's about 2 million now. And people... Did you realize, did you realize what you're doing to your mother? Oh, wait a minute. Yes. yes. I realize that we're about to hit the <laughs> jackpot. So this is what I wanted to talk to you about. We okay, have but- so many requests... For custom videos of you farting, like looking over <laughs> your shoulder and farting, and like doing different activities farting, and people are willing to pay. So I've <laughs> set up a site, I've set up a <gasps> PayPal so people can pay you directly, and basically. Dear God, stop! Yeah, yeah, don't even keep going. Yeah. I just. Yeah, yeah, don't even. This is just. I am not going to. We're go talking. Than I went, we're talking. To listen to this stupidity, Mom. Can you imagine? This is your mother. Mom, we're talking. You're asking me to look over my shoulder and fart and sell it. What in the world are you talking about? Mom, this is like <laughs> real money. Real money. Tell yeah, her how much. Mom, okay. Tell her how Mom, much. Mom, we're make. talking seven, eight thousand a month. Every month. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm, I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna do it. Put it in a bottle, seal it, yeah. and send it to you in a, in a shape of. You know, it's empty, but actually it's my air, so you can sell it and send me the money. Yeah, yeah that's like $500 a bottle. A fart, yeah. Okay, without a video, I just send you the bottles in the air, and you know what is in there. <laughs> send me the money. Okay. I mean, if you're serious, but people need to see at least a little evidence. Can you do a few videos a week? <laughs> no, no videos. Can you do one where, like, they like to see where, like, <laughs> you walk by the dog and you fart and the dog goes like, Rrr, like that kind of thing? I'm or sitting on top dogs. You know? Dogs. We are not talking about this bullshit, okay? Okay. Sitting on I, top am, I, am, I am done, done with humiliation. Done. <laughs> well, yeah, wait till I you see the... As low, as low as I could go. Wait till you see your thing. merch check, then you're not going to be too upset. <laughs> I promise you that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not be joking. selling her I'm not door. joking. We, oh, yeah. Farts. This is a great idea. So how about this? And, I'm, and I'm, I just want a straight up answer. Just I'm being honest. Would you fart into like let's say your underwear for the day and then put that in a bag and ship that out how low are you going? did you realize you're talking to your mother yeah of course what i love you. you you mom you're the fart mistress you're the god of all that is glorious what is wrong with you i don't believe this conversation Tom. i really don't believe it okay how much do does underwear cost ten dollars 
Uh, for you, it would be ten thousand. Okay, no, I'm saying if under when you buy underwear, twenty dollars. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how much you spend in Christina. I, I why, don't, why don't you make Christina do all this? She's she signed up already. I'm asking you now because you're a legend. But I'm so, not as famous. What? Nobody wants oh, my farts. Christina. You're the oh, fart mistress. My, your, oh, people don't know about yours, Christina. Not like you. You're the one with the, the millions of views. Yeah, you're the master. I fart into this microphone yeah. every week. I try to be what you are, and it's it's not there yet. Oh, it's there yet. Believe me, they don't know you then. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to videotape one of yours when I see sure. you. Sure. Yeah, do it. Sure. I, I it's money on the money. table. Listen, you're leaving so you're much leaving money, money on the, on the, on the table. table. You've got a talent. You guys. You know, I, I can't believe the lack of disrespect that you have for me. You said lack of disrespect. That means I respect you. Is, is, no, that means you respect me. Yeah, I, you said... The lack of respect. You're oh, right, yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah. The lack of respect that you have for but me. But I totally respect you. I actually honor if you this is called and respect, I, I honor you and I hold you up to the light in which you belong, which is queen of all farts. Can you imagine? We're building yeah. a brand. Imagine? Can you imagine? You are that. You don't have to imagine. You're number one. <laughs> okay, I'm going to make you the king of poop. Okay. Yeah. And I, I'm going to have you in the highest standard because you are the king. You have broke a toilet in my house. Do me a favor. <laughs> <laughs> Do me a favor. And I have had, and you remember, we have that, what is it called, the plancher? Yeah. Every time you went to the bathroom because <laughs> it was so much that it wouldn't go through every single time. <laughs> How many planners did I pay for your poops? I don't know, but I'm, I feel... Okay, that's a game. I, I, I didn't agree. have the money. Do you feel like if you were to go over to dad and be like, hey, <laughs> how do you feel about an extra seven, 8000 a month? He'd be like, nah, I don't want that. Right. Of course he wants it. Right. So why don't you just fart a little bit and get your money? Guys, that's unbelievable. I, I just can't believe this conversation. Well, look, I want you to know something, because I think you think this is a joke, but I want you to know how proud I am of you, because I, when I because put that, I part, listen to me, when I, proud of me because I part. more than proud, when I put that video out, I made sure to put my name on your body, on your face when it plays, so that everybody knows that's my mom, you know? <laughs> So I, oh I want people to know that's not just some random lady. That's my mother. Thank you for the mother. honor. Yeah, thank you for the honor. So now <laughs> right. there is no confusion of a random lady. Right. It is my Don't mother. Worry. Don't and worry. She I is, don't leave my house anymore. She is <laughs> number one at farting. You number found one. a way to keep me in my house. So thank you so much. And keep you in your house. And by the way, if you do go play bridge, and these other women... It won't happen. No, it won't happen. I, I, I quit two months ago, and the idea that I ran into one of these... This is thousand, a thousand people who play. Each one of those happened to see that. That would be enough for me to bury under the air what? alive. Yeah, but, but those are called haters, Charles. Yeah. Those are haters. They're just jealous what of if your you, talent. What if you go see one of your friends, and they're wearing your new shirt? They're wearing it. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Just imagine. I'm trying to imagine John Ward, who is 87, with a shirt with us. <laughs> do, you, uh, do you know what you said to me the other day when I told you that your merchandise was coming out? Yeah. Do you remember what you said? I was going to bury myself alive. No, you, you said, okay, I'm just going to go kill myself. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, same thing. If I bury myself I life, I'm killing myself, right? <laughs> That's true, yeah. yeah. She goes, I'm going to kill myself. I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> I tell you, that better be a joke, Tommy. I'm not kidding you with that one. Huh? What, the merch? Yeah. It's already a your, top your seller. Your merch is on fire. Your merch is well, on you guys fire. Made the, I, I am sure you have lots of money for me. Lots of money. Well, yeah. You we start, well, we I have mean, the contract. You start sending those... Bottled the farts, panty fart, pant, dirty panties, oh, your okay. custom they videos. Racing, racing, racing. <laughs> okay, yeah. we're into the 10,000 now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're making real money. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyways, I took the liberty of setting up your site, setting up all the pay stuff. So all we need now is content, content, content. <laughs> this is, this is. As far as you can go in insulting your mother. Mom, okay? I love you. I'm trying to get you more money. 
No, you can give me money from your pocket. You don't have to insult me and put me this low. Here's the first request I got. It said, <laughs> yes, please wallet, make it look like she is cleaning up in the living money, room. She it. bends over to pick up some magazines from the ground oh my God. and Christina, lets an accidental you fart out. Me like that? Christina. <laughs> yes. How can you allow him to allow like him? I, I encourage it because we're just trying to grow your brand. Listen, when somebody like you, it's, it's like a Haley's Comet, exactly. once in a generation, a yes. talent like you, we're Not trying you to guys. build your career. This Not is a once in a lifetime have, opportunity. I, I have realized that I don't deserve any respect in this world. The <laughs> only thing I'm worth it is a fart. That was great. Well, I got to tell you, I've never been prouder. I love you so much. And I can't yeah. wait to get this money with you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I love you. I too. love you. I love money you. Is going to come a lot. You're going to be millionaire. Don't worry. Okay. Well, I love you and keep yes, farting. God bless. I'll talk yeah. to you later. God bless. Okay. okay. Bye. 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 Love you. We yeah. I mean, I don't know why talent gets reluctant. It's like <laughs> if God's given you a gift, that was run. That was amazing. <laughs> um, should we break? Yeah. Let's, let's get some, some lunch. Let's do it, homies. And then I'm super excited that Tiger Belly's coming. Oh, my gosh. I love those two more than anything. Yeah. So uh, let's do it. Party. Your mom's house will be right back. And, <laughs> and here we are with two of Yay. my favorites, the hosts of the wildly successful <laughs> podcast, Tiger Belly. <laughs> Yay! Bobby Lee oy, oy. and his much, 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 much better half, Kalila. <laughs> Quick no, question. Well, no, no, no. Kalila, you're so beautiful, oh. articulate, funny, attractive, <laughs> smart. Do you ever wake up in the morning and look over and go, what the fuck am I doing? I, you know, I, I've... <laughs> yes and no. <laughs> yeah. N um, yes, not because of how he looks. Right, but his, which is what his, people think, but yeah. His behavior. But what I've come to terms with is I have a very different type of man. I think I've dated the whole variety, the whole gamut of uh -huh. good looking men. And I realize I really like them fat and wild. Really? <laughs> that's my type. <laughs> that's ultimate. And you discovered this through just fat, living your life. Fat and wild. That's the yeah, name of your I next like, special. Fat and wild. I like them fat and I like them... A little crazy. Uh, just batshit crazy. He's yeah. unpredictable. Right. Volatile. Yeah. Can we get you uh, here? Let me say something. Yeah. Let me say something to you, my friend. <laughs> okay? Yeah. You know, um, society is the one that told, you know, us what yeah. good looking and bad looking is. True. Okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And in many, in many eras throughout the history of mankind, I'm sure that my look was like huge. Mm -hmm. I think, and here's the thing: like 16th century Ming Dynasty or something, oh, right? You're yeah. not I wrong. might be, I, I might be, go, I might go to a club then, and like be knee deep, like Cristalia style, right? Right. You know, you're not Swimming wrong because you know, like um, to show status in the Philippines, the Chinese people that when Chinese people have kids, they make yeah. them extra fat to yes. show status. Yeah, yeah that's true. Because they're yeah. well fed. Don't say Chinese people. Just say no, in the Philippines, Phil Chai. He's not Chinese though. <laughs> what are you? Are you Korean? No, wait a minute. What are you? No, you were saying Fuck you. you're I love Japanese. You, I mean. Yeah, but he said Ming Dynasty, right? But here's the thing. <laughs> here's what's kind of fucked yeah. up. I send you, I text you this voicemail. I ask for your help. And you're like, not even going to respond. You're very you know? bad at returning texts. Really? I have texted yeah, you a few times. You I mean, oh, I'm that's silly here. shit. I'm, I'm that's sitting silly here shit right there. confused. It's true. I'm like, hey, what's going on with my phone right now? You know? yeah. And it's like, hey, Bobby, can you help me out? <laughs> Not even a fucking, hey, man, she needs you to put the papers back in them, whatever. Go, I think, I do, I, think I do remember this text now. Yeah, and then I'm like, yeah, hey, what's going on with my phone? Nothing. You can look in the mirror and convince yourself, Tom, that you're liberal, <laughs> that you're open, <laughs> that you're a future person. Yeah. But no, deep down inside, yeah. you're old school. I'm old school? Yeah. What? And you, I've seen you look at me at the comedy store. Look at you. Yeah. And? And you want to say, hey, there's my flat-faced goof friend or whatever, <laughs> right? But it comes out, hey, Bobby. I don't say but, hey, yeah, Bobby. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah, Maz so Kate, is not me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, right? like Polly. Hey, yeah, Bobby. Uh, hey, Bobby. Yeah. That's better. Okay. And but beneath it, the tone, uh -huh. right, yeah. is like back in Deadwood when you fucks. Used to go into the opium den. Mm -hmm. Remember we were working there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
right this way, Mr. Segura, right? Yeah. And you'd lay down yeah. and stick a pipe in your mouth. Yeah. That's how you treat me. Wow. Jesus. That's wow. For, first of all. And let me say this, okay? And let <laughs> wow. me say this. Let me say this, all right? Okay. Wow. I know, yeah. right, that yeah. you're a likable fella. Yeah. I know, oh yeah, I have an audience or whatever, right? And I respect them, <laughs> yeah. right? But I see right fucking through it. Okay. Wow. And what what do you what do you wow <laughs> what do you see? I mean, don't it? get me what? What do you see? I, I listen. So don't do that. You're oh, gonna sorry. rip yeah. that arm. I'm, I'm yeah. so, 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 so. <laughs> Stay stationary. Yeah. All right. All right. So, okay. So but here's the deal, dude. Here's I'll what go. you see through it all. It's it's like this. It's like when dogs sense like a coyote. That's a good example, right, babe? Because we walk our dogs, right? Yeah. And sometimes I don't see the coyote, mm-hmm. right? But then it's like, my dogs will be like really extra attentive mm-hmm. and go on wild, mm-hmm. right? But so, you know, they can sense it, right? That's how I sense you. You're like the coyote. Wow. So danger. danger. Like a racist coyote. You're saying that he's a racist. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm. Old white. I think that's what I'm pretty much trying to say. Yeah. That I don't see you as an equal or a friend or anything like that. No, no, you do. I mean, I feel like if I was in an internment camp in Japan. <laughs> yeah. And and I and I always judge my whites this way. Mm-hmm. Would they sneak me a sandwich underneath Aww. the fence at three and? in the morning? And I think you would. I want to cry. I think you would. Thank you. <laughs> but you're saying, but ultimately you no. She would not bring no, you. Sure. I would bring you your favorite. I'll sandwich. tell you this. <laughs> what, Which one's that? I, Shit sandwich. You t- <laughs> when I think of you, when I think of you, I bring Korean barbecue. Like the oh. the first thought I have when I think of you, honestly. Mm. Is his paper is stuck in butter? Oh no! Like that. <laughs> That's what, is, what I think. What is that? It's just an Asian. Well, guy. It's like an old quote from your act. Yeah. Isn't yeah. that your old? Isn't that your act? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> why, is that, why is that guy fucking laughing? <laughs> Nadal. What's his real name? I, I'm not saying it wrong. It's Nadav. 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 Well, uh, it's Nadav. It's fine. Israeli. He's one. I was of close them. enough. You know what I mean? Yeah. What did you think he was racially? Jew for, he's a Jew for sure. Yeah. You know? Yeah. All, like only Jews would do an Abe Lincoln like cut with mm-hmm. this beard. You know what I mean? Abe Lincoln cut. Like he's living in the, the pioneer days. I yeah. know about those days. I've seen the movies. Yeah. You're not a part of that. Because let me say this right now Nadal. Dove. Right? In the p- p- pioneering days back in the 17th, 18th century in America, mm-hmm. they would have eaten you up alive in the forest, my friend. Got that? <laughs> Get that? Write that down as a tattoo or something on your arm. Okay. You were saying earlier. What is wrong? Know, Are you I, in therapy yet? Are you? Have you called? No. Start over, start over. But you know what? You're aggressive today. Hello. I, I know, I, I'm so sorry. What's going you? on with I, him? I bet you she's more attracted to you today. Yeah, you know, are you? You came in here, you're fucking shoving people in the chest. Does that arouse you, Kalila? No, because <laughs> usually you can't get a word in. Right. When he's this way. But, oh, um, really? But he, I'll subdue him in a second. Just pat him this side of the belly. See, so he's calm again. <laughs> so it's like you have a pug. You have like a. Yeah. Yeah, actually, he breathes like one too. Have you? Have, I can, that's how he breathes normally. Does he, like Does he snore? He yes. Oh my god! But Ferocious. he has like an, an emphysema kind of um, like <laughs> high cholesterol type of pug breathing. Really, yeah, yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. And then all I also, um, um, I smell. How, tell him how I smell. You actually, he doesn't have my feet, bo. My feet. Oh yeah, um, your well, we know about your feet. We, we don't know what happened. It's just it's just green and full what? of fungus. My left foot. My left foot. You know how Daniel Day Lewis did a movie called My Left Foot. Yeah. They should do a remake with my foot. It's green and full of. Fungus. It's not even yeah. that. It's 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 a uh, Studio Fifty Four. But it's not that he doesn't like want to fix it. Like it partied. Yeah. Mm. He, yeah, yeah. It's like weathered. Mm-hmm. You know. He. We mm. have the medication that actually works for it. Mm-hmm. But um, when it started to work efficiently, he wasn't into that. He wanted a hobby. His left foot is his hobby. He wants something to scratch at night. Ugh. He likes the itch. He likes scratching the itch and the satisfaction from that feeling. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is this, re- has this, like, hold on, has this sorry. replaced the glue behavior? Are we still getting naked and playing video games? All and of those putting- things, just that now the foot is the eighth hobby. Okay. Do you feel like I, I you're, feel great. A, you're a caretaker of some oh, kind? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you do. Yeah, but I think I thrive in that role. Mm. I, I am not somebody who does well with being doted on a lot. Ah. Mm. Um, I think uh, it actually brings out all the bad parts of me. It renders me sort of a bitch. Mm. Really? Yeah. So I, if, I, if the guy's like, oh, baby, I got you this. I can't do that. Wow. I can't do every day good mornings. I love you. You're the love of my life. I can't do that. That's all I ask. That's all I want from him. 
pet me, love me, tell me how great but I am. But if you do, you give I it just, willingly and every day, sparingly. Okay, but that's that's morsels. Why. I get morsels of head scratches and just like I love me, kiss me, love me, and I, okay. Sometimes he gives, and that's enough to get me to the next. I get that. I think that's why yeah. now we're getting to a point where he gives me so little of that. Yeah. But I, I I ask for it. <laughs> yeah. But well, I. <clears throat> she's the first girl when we make love. Mm-hmm. Oh God. Sex. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Where I go. Do you want a warm towel? Because I nutted all over her back or whatever. <laughs> a warm towel. Yeah. Because I do that with ladies. Because I'm a gentleman. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll go get like a dish rag or something. But how do you make it warm? I put the heat on the like, yeah. faucet. I have hot dual, water. Oh, yeah, you have yeah, hot water he, in the house. He has hot oh. water. Yeah, I'll strain it. I'll give them that, and then they they wipe their back or whatever, right? Yeah. yeah. But she's the first one that said no. You want no. a warm towel? She goes, no, I don't know. For Just, starters, you want to hold each other? No. For starters, he doesn't have a very um, far um, ejaculation trajectory. All right. It's it's. They don't need it's, to do- they, people don't need you to have know. never hold on one second. You have Sorry, never I'm, skeeted I'm, on anyone's back. <laughs> Not in a million years. It kind of is this tiny little dollop that just weeps out of his dick. And I'm you know old. that's true. I have old cum. I'm an old guy. And fat. <laughs> there's no dollop. There's none of that. This is what the people want. So, yes. so it basically is a sad drool. It's, yeah, it's, it just weeps out. He goes... And, and has that. it changed in the time? It doesn't make a noise, by the way. So that's no. ridiculous. <laughs> like a it's little, never made a noise. A little bubble falls. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like how long have you guys been here? Is there a mass of it? Six is there six, is there six years? Six years. Yeah. So he was fifty when you started <laughs> dating. I remember that. And then, so oh. holy shit, he lied even, on his Tinder profile too. He, he said did? he was thirty-six oh, when he was please. actually forty-two. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, like, but you could yeah, yeah, Wikipedia yeah. him and find out all the truth. Yeah, yeah. I but I think no his birthday is wrong in his Wikipedia too. Oh, what's his like wow. sexual strength? Oh, oh Tom, um, you <laughs> fucking bastard! You know what my strengths are. I bet I don't know. <laughs> I, I have none. You no, know, for somebody who is really um, eccentric in real life, he's yeah. actually a, he's a square. Kind of a square. Really? He's a square. Is he's he very. Uh, he's a missionary type of guy. Yeah. Okay, look, look, okay, look at. Okay, let me just say something. Okay. He did. Just listen, okay? <laughs> this is E.T.'s finger. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay? It's been all She stuck up this, here, yeah. right, in yeah. my anus. That's awesome. Without asking. With oh, permission. No permission. No, was it, no, I felt like it wasn't asking. No, it was Or you weren't clear about what you were doing. You were going, like, choo-choo, or whatever, making a noise. I definitely asked. Okay. I'm a woman. But we this asked. this thing went yeah. in there, right? Yeah. And I'm not into it. You're not into her. I, I'm not into any like weird. I don't want anything in my butt either. But she's saying that you're just traditional. You only like missionary. What do, have you tried anything else in my life? No, I've I tried mean, with, doggy uh, with her. Try it all. Yeah, I did. I did. Her, le- rop, rop. her legs are long. <laughs> oh, that's right. She has long legs. Have right? we talked about yeah. this? So or? when she gets her on her fours, right? Yeah, I can't get angles. <laughs> I can't. Right? So what I have to do is do prison style and go lay on your stomach. Right? Oh, She right. lays on her stomach, yeah. right? Yeah. And I go, and I, I sometimes I put and my hand, mount. A hand around her mouth. <laughs> That's She hot. can still breathe. She can still breathe through her That's mouth. That's fucking hot. Right. He and loved- do, you, do you say shit like, shut the fuck? Like yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you watch like wife murder movies before bed? No, what do we yes. watch? I can, okay, I could write down, well, I can write down, ask us. Let's play a game. Mm. Ask us what our favorite TV show to making love is, and we could write it down, and it will be the same thing. Really? Yeah. Let's do it. Wait. When you do the mouth cover, though, you do the mouth cover. Do you say something fucked up? Wait. What no? do you mean? You're gonna ask her to what? write down and you here? Yeah, at the same time. Okay. Here. Do I know this? You don't like this game? Here. Well, and here's another pen. Is this like the wedding the game? game? Yeah, the newlywed game. Oh, the newlywed oh. game. That's you guys nice. fuck to a TV show? Yeah, we fuck to a TV show. I didn't you know, I didn't even know people right. did that. Do you, we don't do that. We Some turn the TV do. off. Yeah, TV off. And we we put music on. Okay, hold on. Sweet. You done, babe? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Can we show it at the same time? No, no, no I was going to give it to him. Okay. Okay. So this is the TV show you guys fuck to. Yeah, you make every time. To this show. Every time? Go ahead. Okay, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> they both wrote My 600 Pound Life. <laughs> <laughs> you really fucked to that? Yeah. Really? Yeah. What about Wait, it? Wait, now when it, it starts, do you start getting worked up? No, that's not what it is, friend. Okay. We what? don't know why. Yeah. But it's, it's just on when we're, it's just on when we're having sex every time. <laughs> It's just like always the, on. Like in other rooms, like, is that on TLC? 
Yeah. Right? That she's like, yeah, I yeah. don't know who turned it to. And we're fucking, and it's on. I'm sorry wow. to do this, but can we go back to the mouth grip? Do you whisper threats or anything? Um, no, we do. No, we do her, her, her like scenarios. Like I'll start. She's very good at it. She's never taken an improv class, and she knows how to add information. Yes, and that's what she is. Yeah, in sex, <laughs> right? So I'll go. Um, yo, lady, I never met someone so hot at like a summer camp, right? And then she'll go add, yeah, and I'm the counselor, and you're the five year old boy. We wow. do better than that. Five year old boy. <laughs> yeah, come on, <laughs> see. Or something. Rough, rough, rough. <laughs> What's that rough, rough? That's masturbating. Oh, Rob. really? Rob. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Rob. We do a little bit better than that. Like, we do like star-crossed lovers. Like, yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. he's an American soldier, and I'm, um, um, you know, I am an ISIS, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. fighter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and then, but I'm that, also a man, so journalist. now we're gay lovers. Oh, that's interesting. You guys interesting. will do that? Yeah, I'll switch, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. switch sexes. I'll actually oh, turn wow. into a male. That's great. And yeah, do you man. peg, or do you ever... What's a peg mean? Oh. He's okay. a square, I'm telling you. He didn't like the finger. No, he doesn't so. like any of that. He's a missionary. He's a he's a church boy in really? that way. Yeah. In the bed, yeah. Really? Not in my mouth no, but or you're my so, ideology. Yeah, but. you're so eccentric <laughs> when you have all these crazy ideas and you're bouncing off the walls. That word, you know that word, it's so <laughs> funny that you use that word. What word? And it's a word that I think is a negative word. Oh, I'm sorry. Which but one is that? Incentric. Eccentric. Eccentric. Why? That's a flattering. Mm-hmm. It's not because I've heard that like sometimes I've, I'll see like a crazy dude mm-hmm. and go, you know what I mean? What's that guy's story? And some will go, that guy's eccentric. No, no that's he's... different. Like Oscar Wilde was eccentric. I know. Which is you're, you're an artist. Is that, are, I... you, are you eccentric? No, I'm very boring. May I tell you something, by the way? Yeah. Allow me to flatter you for a moment. Who? We did a Laugh Factory show together about a month ago. Oh. And... I'm telling you, man, Bobby Lee went up before. I had to follow him. You're so funny. You're, I don't know if you've just really come into your own as a comic or what it is. It's all come together for you. And I just feel like you're, you, you have such a wonderful presence now and the material and everything. And you're just fantastic. I, was so, I remember I came home yeah. and I was bragging. I'm like, oh, my God, Bobby Lee's so funny. I mean, you've always been. But I think now you've hit a stride. We actually have a clip Something's from that going show. on. I don't want to see it. Hilarious. <laughs> that actually kind of sounds like you. <laughs> so yeah, she did. She did come home. And Didn't say I come home and things. say? Yes. Bobby Lee's so goddamn funny. But I saw him sitting there, like almost. He had to meditate to take the compliment that I wanted to snap him out of it. You know? yeah. yeah. So funny. Yeah. And when the audience would go, like they groan, like he'd make a funny, funny joke and then he'd, they'd thank groan and he'd you. go, he'd go, they're jokes, jokes, jokes. No, what do you, you say? Thank you, thank you. What do you say? I don't know, man. He'd go, jokes, jokes. He's uncomfortable. He's it's, uncomfortable. Not, it's not that, it's just that like. So funny. Okay. <laughs> but you know, I don't, you know, what I, I, I realized that. I do it not for that, I don't think. What do you do it for? I do it so that um, that I can be brave in the world. Really? Yeah, because before I did stand-up, I couldn't talk to anybody. I couldn't talk to, like, a cop. Look at my eyes. I couldn't do it because I just authority figures and also white people. I'm being real. I was threatened by them. And then um, when I started doing stand-up, I realized that, I, oh, I can talk to women and authority figures now. How long have you been doing it now, though? Since I was 23. I did open mics at 23. You're 60 what now? 64. 40 years Mm. Mm -hmm. (laughs) ago. Oh, yeah. Attack from both. (laughs) Right? From both people I got attacked. But here's... Do you feel this, though? Feel good? I want to feel... Does it feel good, though? I want to feel... I want to know if this is true. Do you process that... (laughs) That, like, the reason that we feel comfortable... (laughs) <laughs> saying that stuff to you is because of how much we adore you. We Do you pick up on that or no? Guys, you know, I'm curious. Serious. That's right, sincere. right, right, right. Like if if we didn't like you or admire you <laughs> mm-hmm. or think you're funny, we would just be like, oh, that's oh, that is interesting. Yeah. So, but like, do you don't do you get that? Like when people people feel comfortable, comics love to fuck around and have a good time with you because mm. they feel like you're game and they love you. Mm. No, interesting. You don't think so? <laughs> 
<laughs> it's it's like it's like our do bullies in high school. I bet you asked a bully in high school. See that nerd that you beat up? Is he your friend? He'd be like, Yeah, he's my friend. I'd be my I buddy. Think and the nerd would be like, No, that guy picks on me every day. So that's how you feel about <gasps> oh, us. Wow. I don't know. Have you seen the footage of you on the boat? Wow. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say this. Yeah. I will answer your question about the boat, all right? But I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna warn you, and okay. you're gonna play the boat, all right? But <laughs> if it's not me. In this footage, this is <laughs> if it's not me, right? <laughs> and you play it, and um, for a laugh to make fun of my ethnicity or whatever, because of the same, that. right? I'm just saying <laughs> it better fucking be me. It's you. If it's, all right, I because promise. play it. Because if it's okay. not, we're gonna have very big problems. Okay, I was <laughs> sent this, and it says this is Bobby Lee. Oh no, 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 stop! All right, I have seen this. This is great. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, I've seen this. I think. Okay, you did. Okay, go ahead. What was your New Year resolution? That's you. Most people just talk about it. Are you going to make it happen? A lot of people in America are that's wealthy, you. filthy oh rich. God, is the next millionaire going to be? Tell me that's not you. <laughs> it is me. Okay. It is. It is. So wait, are we? It's my good? face. It's my face. Okay. Yeah. I mean, um. <laughs> yeah, it is racist. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Because you didn't make that, right? I did not make. No. I know. You, I know you didn't make no, it, right? That's the the account is on. It's called the fakening. Right. Yeah. 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 But you took it. I was right happy. off I, of the internet. I was happy when I saw it. I, I, okay, but well, you're I was, the one took it right, like it and you said, "I can't wait to show this in front of Bobby yes. yeah. to humiliate him." Yeah. No, no, no. Not to humiliate no, you. No, why to humiliate you? Oh, you're right. Thank you. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm saying he's made them of me on I know Garth he's Brooks. Really yeah. Talented guy. Uh, he made them of me on Ralphie. That was he also made me uh, as Arya Stark, right? Yeah. yeah. He did? So I'm fine. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's what a very else, funny video. What else do you say in this? It's the easiest time to make a fortune in real estate in the 1990s. If you know how to take advantage of the current opportunity. A lot of people think there's a recession. It's so funny. Savings alone so crisis. Because this me, guy. It's a time to buy a lot of real estate at market really price. He's so and good at this though. I know. He's creepy. He is. But I, I grew up with him. You did? What? Yeah, in What's the late. What's the guy's name? Ving something, right? Okay. Then, but he was one of the reasons why whenever he come up, I would go into a deep depression because I was in high school when his infomercials were on and I knew that it's guys like him was the reasons why I wasn't getting laid. Oh, because oh. right? people were like he associating. Just yeah, 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 it doesn't represent my cool. kind of Asian, but right? He's right. rich with It doesn't these, matter. Yeah, but he's, he's a nerd. nerd. He, like, yeah. He's not like a cool Asian guy yeah. that you'd want to bang. Yeah. It's there's, when, but there's not a lot of that representation, right? Like who's a cool Asian? Like in Crazy Rich Asians, that guy's hot. The, the no, I think uh, Steven, uh, Steven Yoon's hot. Were you in that? any of these uh, Walking Dead? big Asian oh, yeah, things that cool. have come out lately? No. Are you in Always Be My Maybe? No, I mean, I auditioned for it. How about, uh, cra you weren't in Crazy Rich Asians? I tried to get an audition, they wouldn't give me an audition. They wouldn't give you an audition? No. You tell them who you were? Yeah. Listen, it's funny that you bring this up because I'm being very... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you just make me laugh. You're just silly. You're just silly. That was being real. I know, yeah, no. that's why it makes me laugh. <laughs> I can't even imagine what Kalila goes through. Like, I want a documentary crew to follow her she and like her get dealing it. with At you. At the end of her life, yeah. she should be gifted a solid gold statue. Yeah. That's oh yeah, 20, that's it. High. Twenty. Tw you didn't. Re I didn't finish. Oh, okay, twenty. Twenty thousand feet high. high. Yeah. Right. Uh, because I've never seen anyone endure the kind of fucking hell I prefer. You through. know what? Oh. I feel like once somebody hangs out a little bit and watches you two, they pick up on that immediately. <laughs> I, think, I think they pick up on that. Like, she really has a heart of gold for you. Yeah. She has a, such a, like, you guys have the perfect dynamic. You're this eccentric, wild. He doesn't like that word. Unpredictable. I let it go. I let, I'll close my just eyes. Just pick a different just word. squishy Korean man <laughs> with all the... <laughs> That's, I like that's funny. It's funny. And, uh, and like you, you have all kinds of crazy shit going on in your head. And she's like, it, she's meant to be there to, to bounce off of all of it, puts you at ease. You guys have like the perfect, I think you're the perfect match. Yes. I, I come from a really crazy family. Mm -hmm. So he's not very far off from what I'm used to. There you go. So he gets along really well with them. Mm -hmm. So when he goes back home to the Philippines, it's with awesome. me, yeah. it's they're all on the same level. Mm. There's something about um, when Asians eat, yeah, right, or they get together, where white it it's not 
it doesn't fit with what white people do. Like, it, there's an element of crazy yeah. that I'm glad that she, because I know her family, and they have the same thing as my family. My family, you know, there was always fights and people stabbing each other and crazy shit, right? Yeah. Her uncle killed her other uncle with a machete. Yeah. Fuck. In right? broad so, daylight. Yeah. Broad daylight and when daylight, Bobby so. sees him for the first time in the airport, mm -hmm. Because he gets nervous and he doesn't know what to say to my uncle Carlo. Yeah. He points at him like this and he goes, you're my hero. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, Carlo's out? He's, He's out now. Carlo yeah. served 20 years. 20 He's years. out now. And then he greeted wow. us at the airport with, with a machete? his... <laughs> no, but he was wearing a rosary ago. around his yeah, neck and like a wife beater. Don't fuck with that guy, dude. And yeah, of course. Yeah, and Bobby, Bobby got nervous. And so he was did like, he kill his own hero. brother? Yeah, in broad daylight. <gasps> yeah. Why? He severed his spinal cord. It was a money dispute. Money dispute. Yeah, my, my family is... Fucking bad shit. Yeah. Carlo and your family allows him back into the fold? Um, well, he says that, you know, he's like a reform. He was an alcoholic then. He no oh, longer right, is. Right. We're all really just really afraid to not give him any kind of support because he knows where everyone lives. Mm -hmm. Right. So we sort of just... Uh, you know keep yeah, the fire yeah. out now interesting because i love the show locked up abroad and i don't yeah. know have we ever seen a filipino prison before um i don't know if we saw a filipino prison there's been a number of episodes in asia filipino prisons yeah. are wild i actually go yeah. on google searches a lot because they're they they don't have individual um cells they're all just in one giant room piled up on top of each other the that's no good the conditions are really rough out there so if yeah. you end up in a filipino prison you're fucked. carlos seen some shit so, man. yeah carlos yeah he survived oh there's yeah. a picture so he's sur he's a survivor <laughs> oh my Carlo. god yeah that's click one of them click one of them christ holy, holy fuck man yeah. fuck my life yeah. how do you think you would do bobby and i would just feel person? punctures in my asshole every, fucking, <laughs> every 10 seconds like you hear right and that's yeah. somebody fuck me in the ass some different person though, because you're in a crowd. You know what? You'd roll with it though. I feel like after. Oh, yeah. I would have the loosest butthole in prison. <laughs> <laughs> it would just be, you know, the, the actual. It'll stick out like a tail. Like yeah. that guy has a tail. No, that's his asshole. And then they'd out. be like, "We're done fucking him. You get over it." Yeah, <laughs> that's what it. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be so loose. They're not gonna feel any friction. And they'll be like, "Fuck <sighs> it." Yeah. It's okay. gonna be like a hallway, right? So then I'm gonna be like, "That. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Get fucked a lot." Yeah. Um, who the fuck is no caller ID? Don't, don't pick know. up. But who the, would that be? I mean. How the fuck are we supposed to know? But who does this? A CIA? People. Ha have you ever seen the Filipino prison dancers that dance to uh, Michael Jackson? Yes. And stuff? Yeah. Is so, that real? Yeah. That's so now real. it's it's in my island actually, and yeah. now it's a tourist attraction. So these guys <laughs> just all dance. Not. I mean, they're just not regular dancers. They're amazing dancers. Yes, I've seen this before. There's a still of Whoa. it. Whoa. I when I was Whoa. in the Philippines, I did a talent show do you guys know that <laughs> well, you I know, put you, on a local you talent judged. show yeah, you I judge we produce. Oh, guys show some respect um. it was no good <laughs> babe not, let's say that bro bro <laughs> don't do that to yourself not only, not only it it was it not so good bad. not only was it not good dude yeah for a split second, I'm like, I might not want to be friends with this guy. <laughs> Why? That was so fucking sad what you did. I know, because you, you can't tell sometimes. No, but when <laughs> yeah. I'm talking, right, yeah. and I'm getting interrupted, it's got to be a solid, like, yeah. earthy farm. I know. No, look, I'm as disappointed as you are. Probably <laughs> you should more. be so fucking embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. Fuck I'm you, Sergura. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Hmm. Does Bobby Lee fart in front of you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah. we were talking right before we went on mic that you're not an Asian draw, right? Yeah. Um, so, what? <laughs> <laughs> why do you think that is? Oh, it's, 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 it's simple. It's, uh, I feel like... It's simple. If you're, if you're from any marginalized group and you're proficient, good at that thing, usually that group goes, we're drawn... You know what I mean? Like... The Indian guy who's a good comic will start drawing Indian. If you're, you know, it's, it's Latino I think it's, I think, and so I on. think it's better to draw, if I'm in, like, anywhere, I sell tickets. I know you do. And, when it's, and it, when it's mostly, like, when it's mixed. Yeah. Those are the best shows. It's, it, it's, it's, a, it's a feeling that I did what I set out to do. Right? I totally agree. I so totally when other agree. Asian comics are like, yeah, I sold out in San Francisco with, you know, 300 other Asians in the audience. Yeah. In my head, I'm like, yeah, it's, it's not something but that I would... why do you think that Because the, well, I'll tell you why. Because there was an actor, an, a Korean actor. I'm not going to say his name. I want to so badly. Say it. No. Something pack. No, no. 
That's not Korean. No, yeah, it is. Korean actor. And I, I went up on stage. This is probably 15 years ago. I was at the store. Yeah. And he came up to me and goes, you're a disgrace <gasps> to our people. What? Did I tell you who it was? Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is a, a known actor? Yes. And I go, what? Mm-hmm. He's like, everything you, he has a little accent. Everything you do on stage is a disgrace. And then he just walked away. Was it, and wait, I had tears well up in my eyes. This is like, at, at, at a comedy show? At the comedy store. And he was, he's not a comedian though. No, he's an actor, I just said. And he just Jackie watched Chan? it. Jackie Chan? And then. No, he's pretty big though. No, he's not that big. He's not iconic. I, w- I could say Jackie Chan because, you know what I mean? There's no was way it, that he can would Can I ask you, him. was it Mr. Miyagi? <gasps> no. Fucking no, Mr. Miyagi. No, it wasn't. No, shit no, to you? Mr. Miyagi. <laughs> he's it's mean a, as fuck. <laughs> no, it's, no, it's way like a younger guy. who it is? I can't. No, really? don't do that. I won't. I won't. Because then I have to. Then I'm I, I, I was about to say it, and then what happens? What? Then what? I have this fucking guy. Okay. Can I ask well, you he this? He said it. I, he fucking said it. Fuck him. By the way, you're not a disgrace. You're you're immensely I'm just talented. Saying, you're though, very that, funny. That, that the reason why a lot of Asians don't follow me or like me is because I am filthy. Yeah, I'm not filthy. Oh. I just I'm more American than I am Korean, mm-hmm. and it comes out more SoCal. You know, dirty skater kid yep. than more than Asian. Asian yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. and you yeah. think that's part of the reason why? I mean, it makes sense to me, but I'm just. Well, I used to do an act where, um, you know, I cater to Asians, but I, w- you know, I it just one day, you know, I just said, just be yourself. You know, I just can't do this anymore. So then, why would this guy say this to you though? He just saw you do one of your sets at the store. He's a hater. He's jealous. I, know. I mean, I mean, I show my pubes. I, you know, what I mean, I talk about. Sex, I you know I do crazy things, right? Yeah. And he was in the back, and he was like a traditional Korean dude, and he basically said, um, "You're a disgrace." <gasps> and he's an actor, Korean yeah. actor. We gotta figure this. And I'll tell you who it is. You will in between break, yeah. Okay. Tricky Korean yeah. actor. He's That's, handsome too. He's a handsome. famous Korean actor. Nadab Ooh. Google famous. It's not that famous. You're not gonna. I, uh, first of all, if you, fi- I'll, I'll give you three guesses. Yeah. Okay. And if you guess it, I'll be like, yeah, that's the guy. You'll you will? never guess it. Is it Chow Yun Fat? You will never get. No, think all right, more American. Is it Korean. He's he lives in America, you, although he does have an accent. You, okay, I was gonna say you did do an accent okay. when you did. Yeah, yeah. And Mr. Miyagi would be Let's the see. obvious choice. Who would it be here? Mr. No, Miyagi died many many years ago, <sighs> Christine. Oh, he said younger, I think too. Let's see. Who we have? Now? I have Let's not personally <laughs> heard my voice in the conversation for nearly three years now. Now I feel like okay. If, uh, if okay, let me wait, see. Let me see. Go back. Can you go back? Scroll, scroll, scroll. Okay. God, those are all. That's what I'm saying. So like, I thought like. Would actors United States South Korea? You said. Well, no, he just did a famous okay, go, Korean so, actors. What about Daniel, Daniel Kim? I love Daniel. It's yeah, not him? Yeah, yeah. He didn't say it to you? No. He doesn't have an accent, does he? These people are also young. They're also young there. Too young? <gasps> yeah. These are too young. I know C- yeah, C.S. Lewis. He's cool. It's mm. so funny. I, I, you know, keep going. Oh, Karen O. I love Karen O. Me too. I just saw her. Like, Was it Hines Keep going. No? no. Keep going. Jesus. David Chang, babe. Where? David Chang, right there. Even, uh, uh, keep it going. That's it? Yeah. Is yeah. he on the page? Yeah. You know what's sad? I'm not even on there. <laughs> oh, that's what you're looking for? Yeah. Yeah, oh but you're not, you're American. They're all American. I know all of those guys. They yeah, all live in LA. a lot of them are in. Yeah. Do you hang with them a lot? Just turn it off. That makes me so sad. <laughs> <laughs> they put me in. <laughs> turn it off. It put me in depression. <laughs> turn oh the whole thing. <laughs> turn the whole thing off. Turn it, turn it off. Turn, off. Turn, turn, turn take it, it off. off. Take it off. Take it all out. Turn it off. off. Please. Thank you. Pull that down. Oh my god. Thank How cute you. is John Cho? He's good. Very cute. Mm-hmm. He's cute as fuck. <laughs> I don't even know when this is real. Uh, Kalala, how often do you have to talk Bobby off of a ledge like every a day. show business? Lunch? Every day. Yeah. Every day. How do you do it though? What do you do? Um, I start with a re- with Jersey Mike's. Mike's yeah. way, mm-hmm. or an Italian regular oh, yeah. sandwich. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, after that, you know, I actually um, practice a lot of tough love with him mm-hmm. because he's somebody who, you know, he he ha- he's an addict, mm-hmm. so he's very good at um, how do I say? Not manipulating, but um, um bargaining. Mm. Um, and he's he's very he's very talented at debating and all of that stuff. So mm-hmm. I. I 
I'm actually pretty rough with him when I need to talk him off the ledge. So, for instance, I imagine he's going through Instagram Mm -hmm. and he sees that somebody got something that he wanted, a a movie role Mm -hmm. or a booking. And I imagine that's how the spiral begins. Like, oh, my God, I can't believe so and so has the thing that I wanted. So I start off by uh, being nice. You know, I think you're equally as talented. There's just a lane for everybody. I start off doing that Mm -hmm. reasonable stuff. And then it slowly graduates into don't be a pussy ass bitch. Get out there then. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like I, I, everyone stop, 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 stop. And he knows that. And we get into (laughs) fights about it. I don't want to say that. Here's the thing. Okay. Okay. The reason why I'm like that. Okay. It's not because I have low self-esteem is I genuinely feel, and I've never said this out loud before. Okay. I genuinely feel that I'm the funniest one. Mm-hmm. I believe that. I, I do. I, that's, what's, that's why the, the depression and me comparing myself yeah. kicks in because I truly believe, I'm probably not. I'm not at all. I'm sure there's a billion Asian dudes way funnier than me, but I believe I am. Right. Right. As you should, by the way, as you should. But you are a hundred percent. I agree with you. But I, but I agree too. I agree. With too. that, I say I also will add that you are the laziest of the bunch. There we go. So it's a oh. it's a really uh, yeah. There we go. Now, if you know that that's the the issue, nope. nope. You're not going to change that. No, no, no. I'll no. tell you why. <laughs> I no, no, no. I'll tell you why. Sure. Yeah. I thought about why I do it, comedy and all that stuff, mm. and it boils down to. A long time ago, I guess when I started doing stand-up, I thought, if I can just do this and make this amount, I could be happy, right? Mm-hmm. And so, um, I don't even know what why, my, my, my point was. Well, I was going to, I asked you, well, the question was, if you know that it's saying, laziness, yeah, that's the issue. That oh, yeah, 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 That's in your control. And that's in your control. Yeah, 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 yeah. So here's the thing. Is the whole You're reason why. You're going to break our mic I'm arm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What I, 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 <sighs> I'm going to break your fucking arm if you break that. <laughs> Can I just finish my point? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Forget it. No, 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 no. Tell us. <laughs> no. On, tell us. So why aren't you? Tell so why, why won't you yeah, stop being why won't lazy? You be stopping if you lazy? know because that's I, the I did, went into comedy th- thinking I don't want to do anything. Right? Like I don't want to show up and work. Okay. Uh, anywhere. Yeah. Uh-huh. So I go, I thought, oh, you're. You could just go up and do what, the most an hour a night, right? And so um, the reason why I didn't come in the first place is that I didn't have to work. Right. So you, so you don't want to start working Yeah, hard. so, yeah, yeah. So in the last, whatever, 20 years I've been doing it, uh-huh. I put zero effort. And look, at, I'm fine. Yeah, no, everything's done. Yes, done very you've well. done well. Now, can I now could, I have, could I have more? Yes. Yeah. Now, wait, can I ask you something? Yeah. There was more to this point. I'm not exaggerating when I say this, okay? The person who I am asked the most about, this is for real mm, true, mm. who like, I'm out doing shows, yeah, 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 I'm yeah. just, the person who I get asked the most about of when will they do a special is you. Okay, So congratulations. My, people, <laughs> congratulations, Tom. No, I'm saying people ask me about it. I get it. Do you have an answer for that? No, I don't. You're not going to do one? Listen, dude. All what? right. I'm not going to grovel for a special. I'm not asking for and, and, and I just these said, you people want me to one? grovel? And I'm going to grovel. Why are you going to grovel? What have you, you had to talk? grovel? What are you talking about? I'm it, asking, like, you're the, one of the funniest okay, I, I, guys. I'm not going to fuck with your arm, okay? But you're I not, didn't touch it! Your arm. I'm gonna, I, to, I need a different angle, though, babe. Are you going to fart on me? No, no. Oh, I was going to face you them. You want the fart mic? No, it's okay. Wait. So when you... When you, like everybody just goes like, oh, I'm, I want to do yeah, but a that's special. the business side of it too. Yeah, Some of that's out of your control. You don't even want to do it? It could be your management. It could be your agents aren't doing the right things. I, 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 I just want to say this is that um, I've made the call before. Yeah. I've had people call to make incu- incu- inquiry. inquiries. Inquiries. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. And the feedback is always in the mo- realm of no. So I don't know what else. I don't, I don't feel like that's true. How come, can I ask because you another t- question? I, I, yeah. How come you don't see many Asian people with Down syndrome? <laughs> and now you're about, I'm going to answer it with the most racist thing because you're setting me up to say something racist. 
And race if I, is yeah, not I'm, race. I'll, it's scientific. I'm going to answer this to you, right? Bobby. Sometimes you can't tell with Koreans. <laughs> You wanna fuck with my mai, huh? <laughs> okay. We have the same <laughs> amount as you white people. It's just that sometimes you just can't tell. Okay. And if that if you wanted me to say that, you set me up, right? And so everyone listening right talking? now, yeah, you know what you're doing. Wait, what are you saying? You're saying what I'm saying what is kind of people? I'm gonna just say something. What kind of people? What Koreans are are look like what? They look like what? Down syndrome people, right? So basically, <laughs> here's how this is what happened, right? She wants to say that. I don't she want to say that. She wants to say that. I don't but, want but to. But she, she can't. So I don't want to say that. She has to ask me a question. So the I say it, and then she can go, there we go. You know what I mean? <laughs> no. Fuck you and fuck you. Hey, right? man. How so awful paranoid. do you Jeez. feel like in your head? How I often, can't fucking believe this shit. How often do you... Are all your thoughts basically white people are terrible? <laughs> yeah. Is that because I feel like that's kind of what's? I feel like he's a he grew up he's a white boy at heart. In fact, in fact, I know this because when I first um, went to his house, I was looking all over for a rice cooker. He's the only o <gasps> Asian that doesn't own a rice cooker, doesn't know how to cook rice. He doesn't even know the finger method. He is not Asian in that way. But you're it. always going off about white people. Being well, yeah, he, no, no, he's it's it's a it's a psychology one on one thing. He comes in here and tells us we're racist because that's what he's thinking about. Yeah. He's the racist. <laughs> no, yeah. that's interesting. Yeah, you, you come are in because you're thinking really... about it. Where I wasn't thinking about that Bobby Lee's Asian today. <laughs> oh, we gotta oh, we gotta Asian I, things oh, yeah. up. It's Koreans. And no. that. you are completely retarded. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Yeah, it's true. Um, you're right. I think by saying white people all the time, yeah, it seems a little um, 1990s. You feel so, like yeah, I do. So um, I'll make a new deal. I won't say it as much. That white people are terrible because at the end of the day, I am. I grew up in America. I grew up in the suburbs. Yeah, yeah. in Poway, Green Valley. Yeah, I went to Painted Rock Elementary. Painted Rock. Yeah, I went to Twin Peaks Middle School. I went uh -huh. to Pow Poway High. Um, I had white friends, black friends, Mexicans, Filipino friends. Who were your favorites of the group? Well, my dad um, made me a list of races best to worst. <laughs> <laughs> really? So, yeah. So Who, I follow so, that. So, you followed let's that? start at the bottom. Well, hundred. <laughs> Who's the worst? Well, the I already know. Well, the the list only was twenty. So I. Uh, okay. Well, then, so the list was twenty from beginning. Who list. do you want to hear? And, and I would say black people list. weren't even on the list. <laughs> so they were like fifty or something. This, I was gonna say. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They're not on it. Old school Korean guy. Yeah. 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 Sure. <laughs> black people are not on this list. Top twenty. <laughs> He's, like, right. He's like, what are you talking about? It goes number one, on Korean, obviously. Yeah, He's yeah. the best. Right. Yeah. Even though. They oppressed our country for 50 years and is Japanese. Second. Second, right? Right. Yes. The third one is, I'm not kidding you, probably snake. <laughs> like it goes drastic to from humans to number three snake. To and animals? Four, yeah, yeah, to animals. And then you'll go back to like Mexicans and stuff. Okay. Wait a minute. Yeah, so yeah. hold on, hold on. Number one, the Koreans. Two, the Japanese. <laughs> Three snakes. Yeah, yeah. Four mud people. I don't know. Maybe something broad like that. And then where do white people fit in? Am I like do eighth? We, eight. Okay. Seventh. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's not bad. It's not you're bad. you're definitely bad. above Filipinos. What? Oh yeah. They're, they're not in the top. The 20. jungle Asians. They're not in, mm -hmm. whoa, whoa, dude. I'm I'm saying right now. Yeah. You, have you said that before? What jungle Asians? Have I said it before? Yeah. On on air. Just mark that. People go crazy over that. No, they don't. Not I had to anymore. apologize. What are you talking about? What are you talking Dude, about? Dude, I had to apologize. Rogan had me say that Vietnamese. I was just talking. Yeah. And I said, Vietnamese were jungle Asians. Yeah. Right? And then the next thing I know, I had to get a publicist to apologize <laughs> to Vietnamese news organizations. Yeah, that's not going to happen to me. That's not going to happen. Article. Yeah. No. I feel yeah, like but I'm not, I'm not saying it like you're the... I'm saying your dad's list obviously would be like, if you go Filipinos, your dad's going to go jungle Asians. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. he's going to put you know, yeah. all of them there. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I'm saying it. Yeah. And um, I, but they love her. Mm. So which who is do? strange. Who My does? parents. Why is that well, strange? Who doesn't because she's love Filipino. Her. Yeah, but she... I mean, she's you're, you're, great. You're their son. But you're also, when I go to your house, I spend five days just 
being your handyman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why they love me. Oh, you're like fixing my dad. Things? My dad's sick. Everything. I fix everything. I do everything. I do coffee runs. I'm. I'm. My dad. You know. Um, Kyla, what, what about you? Who? So who takes care of you? My sister. Yeah. Yeah. I have a really good support. And she's system. here. She lives in the yeah. She's actually the Van Nuys um, head nurse. Oh, the oh, Van Nuys wow. jail head nurse. She's a oh. jail nurse. Yeah. Wow. Jail nurse. So she sees the, the the best types of people in L.A. And she, does she get along with Bobby? She does. Yeah. Does she she gets it. Does she, oh, she's like, oh, you always like these fat weirdos. Yeah. No, <laughs> I'm no, I'm the I'm 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 the first. No, you weren't the first. I know, but I've seen your photos, dude. She. Is she like, is she, she like, fucked Australian you know, Bane. I may name them. Oh, really? There's a guy named I named Australian Bane. Uh huh. So it's Tom Hardy, yeah, but so, Australian. So it ended up like a bunch of male models. Right, he's just then, a thick ass, right? <laughs> a, a, a Spanish professional soccer player. Oh, wow. What the fuck is that fact? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't... You, I didn't, what did I say? I didn't, you, what did you say? Did I say anything bad just now? You didn't... You, no. No. No, no, no. I was gonna say it sounded funny. an F word. You look faggot. <laughs> yeah, that. Can we just you look am, I, faggot. am I in trouble for that right now? Uh, um, yeah. No, yeah. No. Yeah, our <laughs> listeners are real <laughs> social justice warriors. <laughs> yeah. I remember that um, that Lana Spanish Estrigans. player when I first the started Spanish dating player? you, yeah, yeah. and I first started posting um, pictures of us together. You know, he didn't speak English that well, right. but he must have mustered up all the English he knew. <laughs> to, to ask me like if I was like, mentally okay, if I <laughs> wow, yeah, and then <laughs> remember I showed you that right. That's why I don't like the fucking <laughs> yeah, fucker. And then here's another thing, right? She was telling Javi Alonso. <laughs> yeah, and then what did he say about me on like Instagram or something? He said something like, "Is he the guy on Hangover or something?" Oh yeah, I think my maybe, yeah, you know, maybe. he did say that. He thought I was Dr. Ken Jong to shame me a little bit more. I gotta ask you about the Korean. The Korean actor off mic. You gotta tell us who this is. Yeah, now you're yeah, really bothering yeah. me that I don't know who it is. It's not. He's not on that list. He's like a level yeah. below. Like, if you see yeah. C. E. So. Lewis and all these Steven Yeun and stuff. Yeah. yeah. I don't want you to Google the list again though because I don't want my feelings hurt. Yeah. What 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 hurts your feelings about the list? Well, I just feel like you know. Here's what it is. If you Google top 100 Korean actors or comedians in don't Hollywood, do right? Do. Don't do that. But I'm just saying, and if I'm not on that list, he's gonna be upset. There, you get a feeling of like, yeah. oh, what did I, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this is the first year I'm going to Montreal. You're going? Yeah, I've That's never great. been. What are you, are you doing just your own show? No, I'm doing, hosting a couple of dirty shows. Yeah. And I'm doing a couple of like television And you've spots. never been? Dude, you're gonna have so much fun. But that's my point. Are you going? She is yeah. gonna go. You're gonna have a good time. But, but that's my really point. And my point is, is that, and I, I don't want to sound like um, I'm complaining, you know, or you know, but um, I never get invited to do the cool thing. You know what I mean? Like there's yeah. movements, and then I, you always feel like you missed the boat on that. Hello? Yeah. Are you guys listening? I am listening. I just think, can I tell you something? And I'll tell you, here's what I learned over the years. You're yeah. right. There are movements. And then there's also agents and managers in the business side of things that you mm. don't even know about. And all that shit is just boop, 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 puppeteering yeah. on the backside. I, pr I promise you. I know what it is because I know, and I've, I'm, I've always said that what's happening at club level or street level when it comes to comedy isn't necessarily what the business is happening in Hollywood. No. Right? No, they don't they're never. not privy to what is really going on. So then you have these middlemen like agents and stuff who like you know disc, you know they embellish their client or whatever to make them yeah. seal. See? So, yeah. There you go. So you can't take that stuff personally, right? When you know it's like a business that makes no sense, there's no rhyme or reason. Yeah, you stick like, around long enough. You're trying to eventually find, it works kind You're of. trying to look r rationally at something yeah. that's totally irrational. It's not out of your it's not in your control. It's out of your control. But without Tiger Belly? Yeah. I don't know what would have happened. With regard... with it just in general. Because really? I think that, yeah, my podcast, Tiger Belly, kind of reinvented, you know, my career. You do. It's Isn't that huge. wonderful? It's such a good podcast. And it's yeah, so but fun. I, I'm so, it's, and it's one of those things where I never thought 
that I could ever do. Or really? Even thought, yeah, it was her. It's all her. Oh, she's the one that did it. No, I just set up the mics. I didn't do anything. Yeah, but I would have never done it. Are you amazed? Um, like when 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 you think back to just setting up the mics, to what you got like the following, and you yeah. see, aren't you kind of amazed? Yeah, I think that. Um, but I always, I, I wasn't surprised by you know how many people latched on to Bobby just because he he had done any any podcast that I'd heard him on prior to that was just the greatest thing I'd ever heard. So yeah. I knew that once I put a mic in front of him and I knew it had to be at home because he wouldn't show up otherwise. <laughs> so it had to be six steps away from his bed. Yep. And, um, the slept king, man. Yeah, and yeah. he had been talking about doing a podcast with somebody else for a really, really long time. Eric Griffin. And um, they just never got it together. Nope. And And I was like, well, the only solution is if we put a mic next to his bed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so I set that up. It's been it's been um, fruitful, but here's the thing: it's like I've never. I used to do the road and dread it. I used to dread the road because the people that would come out to see me were a mixed bag. It was like s some people that knew me from Chelsea lately, some Mad TV. I mean, there was just like a different variety of things. But what Tiger Belly did is funnel it mm -hmm. right into a specific. Yeah, my so real. Good. This is my real fan base mm -hmm. and they know you and they love you for every I can everything make, that you are not just an asian caricature that word seen inquiry on. inquiry right. if i mess up on inquiry i don't fear messing up a word like that because mm. you know they just know that i just don't know much yeah it's wonderful the podcasting audience is so different they know everything about you and they love you despite it <laughs> and they show up and they have such a good time i yeah. know it's like it's a miracle isn't it it's you know you, you can uh, you know, it's like I was, I'm not kidding you. I was on a show for two years. It just got canceled. And maybe one or two times somebody came out to me out of the blue and said, I love you on Spilling Up Together. Yeah. Tiger Belly, it's 20 times a day. Of course. It's crazy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. The reach is amazing. So, yeah. Let yeah. me ask you, um, did you, uh, I heard, I saw something about Andy Dick being mm -hmm. on your guys' podcast. Was that it was a, a while? It was a shit show? Yeah. What happened? It's not a shit show, babe. It was a shit show. Don't, well, don't we talked about it on our podcast. Yeah. It was a shit it was show. It was a good show, good show. Um, he wants to protect feelings. I was really disturbed that night. And really? um, I hated that whole experience. I do oh. love Andy a lot, though. I think he's a really kind man who's probably just wasn't doing well that day. Um, but it just, I, he showed up unpredictable and yeah, with, with another person who I felt who like was his an enabler and, uh, and he showed up, then 12 people showed up in our house and then people were in the bathroom doing whatever the fuck. And I have animals oh. and they're like my kids. It, I, it, I didn't like it. It's when, it's when he said, I don't want to be political and friend. I don't want to do what you do, which is like, everything was fine. It wasn't fine. It was a shit show. Mm. I've never had a guest <clears throat> on, on, on my podcast say, Hey dude. I have 12 people coming up. Oh, no. 12? They just got here. No, first he said, I have a friend here. And yeah, then when, like, when George went to go collect the friend, it was a whole a gaggle of people. of people. And they look like Deadpool's enemies. And you've seen where we like, live. It's a tiny, right. tiny like, space. They look like what Eastern people, European like, gangsters. They just uh, it's racist. hung out <laughs> in your... <laughs> In your apartment or your place? Yeah. Like, like, just you know like, how small that place is. But they're like, we're just going to stand here in the kitchen while yeah, you're doing I don't know. And then and they then were just going in and out of the bathroom. the door to be open because she's like, I think they're going to steal stuff. So we were looking into the living room. I didn't say they were going to steal stuff. I was said. worried about my like, animals. Yeah. Of and course. And what, did he say anything about like, hey, there's, there's, was he like, oh, I didn't know as many people were going to be here? I think he was just a little lost in the sauce that day. Oh. He, mm -hmm. he's, Andy Dick is one of the funniest human beings on planet earth mm -hmm. and he's a case where if he would have just got gigantic like time together sobriety time that he could have really reinvented his career right but he keeps slipping back into and i think uh, because of his, yeah. he has a really like gentle demeanor so i think people um exploit that a they lot take advantage because of him. He's, he's he really is a sweet sweet man the sweet man so funny yeah, he's very funny. Yeah, but well, until we won't do that until he's sober again. Yeah, but well, it was that, hard. That is our nightmare: is like ding dong, and we're just expecting one person, and then twelve people show up. Right. Like in general, that would make same, us crazy. Same, same. Because yeah. we're sort of recluses. Yeah, you know, we're not really super social with a lot of people, and even doing the podcast is. You know, he paces around in his underwear for an hour before people arrive because he's nervous. And the yeah. higher the underwear, tucked, or the more tucked in his shirt is yeah, into yeah. his underwear, the more nervous he is. Aww. So um, when 12 people show up and, and then one like, of them was like, hey, 
I need some water. Oh yeah, that's right. I go, oh, I'm sorry. You're parched. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Yeah. In my house. Asking, like demanding water. Yeah. And of course, like an idiot, I get the good Fiji water. Oh no. Right. I get the cold. Chilled Fiji water. Did I give you ever them the think whole thing. When that happened, like, hey, you guys all got to go. Like, you can't be here. We were in the middle of recording. I was oh, like, like, I was looking here? over like this, and we just sort of tried to not make a giant fuss about it because I just wanted it to be over with. I didn't want a, another commotion. Because I do, I, I can, I could have popped off. I would have been like, get the fuck out now. But yeah. the, the, it would, the podcast would have been over. Would have been over. Um, and mm. it's, it's like, it's surprising how. Sometimes you'll have a guest that like you think this is gonna be easy and it's difficult. Yeah. You know what I mean? Where I've had guests where I would turn to Kalila and go, I don't know what else. Because they don't add information. Right. 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 They it's just painful. one They're like, word yeah, answer. That's true. And then you're like, Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And so you got she's great at adding information. Oh yeah. And you guys so, are a great but you, you guys are just, you inherently have to know how to do that though, right? Right, right. Andy Dick is a guy that, you know, knows how to do it, but when he's partying, he's just not the same. He's not as bright, he's not as right. quick. Sure. And he also goes on these weird, like, kind of psychotic tangents about oh. something, you know? It's, he needs help, dude. It sounds like he's. In a there's bad a lot place. of. There's a lot of. There's a lot of. There's a lot of. Um, there's a lot of comedians that need help. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys openly Trouble. talk about guests you don't like, or do you just do it amongst each other? Mm. We just do it amongst each other. I say it out loud. Yeah. <laughs> I, I loved him. I hated the guy sitting next to him. Well, yeah. Baby, baby, don't fine. say it. Can I just say it? I've no, wanted no, no, to get baby, it off my yeah, chest yeah, yeah, for yeah. so no, long. No, no, he's the best. Hey, 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 hey Andy and your friend, you're welcome. Andy, just let it go. Andy was good. Fuck that other kid. Clyla, what was the kid's name? Um, I think his name was Paris Dillon and he kept crying about how his name was Paris Dillon, was the talent. exact same as a porn star and he was like she stole he, she stole my name because that's my real name and his real name actually was like a French name and mm. he was like trying to start beef with this porn star and I was like shut the fuck why are you even here yeah mm -hmm. very strange that was strange. his name mm. you know what else is strange our clip today our opening clip was of this guy and he's in a he's in a bit of a beef with Dale and we don't know what the origin of it is, but we want you to take a look and wait. But before in. you do it, can I yes. ask a question real quick? Before? Yes. Okay. The Japanese are number one. Yeah. <laughs> What's the question? Okay. My question is this: We're seeing a video. Yeah. About what? There's a guy. <laughs> There's a guy. It's and not an Asian guy he's, joke. He's, no. he's, right. And so, do we comment? Is it this kind of show where we yeah. comment? Yeah. Dude, you okay, can go just, ahead. You can, go say ahead. What you can want. just say whatever you want. Okay, I just go. want you to. But do I have to say something? No. no. I, I just want you to. Say what I'm saying is that we watch this video. And we go, hey, what's exactly happening here? And we just like when people weigh in with us. So this is the video, okay? Here you go. Six weeks ago today, I tore the quadricep tendons on both my legs. And look at me. I'm walking down the street. I'm walking. Now, yes, indeed, I'm walking. At this point, what you see is somebody that has obviously been in some type of horrific accident mm. and he's showing you <laughs> that he is on his way to recovery, right? Uh, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. yeah, but okay, I, okay, keep going. Okay, so this is where it turns. So, how long did it take you to walk, Dale? Dale, boy, talking to you. How long did your wife have to go without sex after your car accident? Because I'm walking. I'm ready to walk to North Carolina and fuck your wife. <laughs> I mean, nice little button on that. It's, it's quite a turn, though, right? He's like, I'm recovering. I'm look, look at me. I'm walking. I want to fuck your wife, Dale. <laughs> I mean, yeah. really, what do did we Dale do? Do we know Dale? We don't know Dale. We don't know, we don't Dale. know the and story. It, yeah. It's not even done yet. Go, keep going. Okay. Look at me. I'm walking. There's my walker, Dale. Nice little stroll. Six weeks after my accident, and I'm ready to fuck. Your little dick didn't work for fucking a year, faggot. Whoa. <laughs> so he got serious with Dale. Well, yeah. What did Dale do? Dale's his brother. You think so? I think so. And it, Jesus. Yeah, yeah. He's going to fuck his brother's wife? Mm -hmm. I feel like it's like the mountain hound kind of situation. You guys watch Game of Thrones? No. They mm. don't. Well, why? 
It's too late now. I know, but why? <clears throat> we tried twice, and I felt like it was Lord of the Rings times 10 and darker. I'm like, I can't do this. I literally just started the pilot, and I was like, I saw a dragon. I was like, I'm out. There's no dragon in the pilot. All right, episode two. There's, just there's no dragon. There's, not, there's no dragon in the first fucking season. I saw some shit with fire. Yeah, but you, yeah. you, uh, you know what? I'm, you know, you're a fucking liar, dude. That's true. It is true. Right. You just looked at me and you lied right in my fucking face. <laughs> I did not. I swear. I saw the pilot. And I, I saw, saw the dragon. The I was like, whatever. With the white thing. There's on no dragon in the like, beginning. Oh. You fuck. And then it was like, bra. There's and no bra. Like, oh fuck. What if the other right, you know, fella doesn't so let us live? It's so fucking funny because you guys don't. Okay, so basically what you're There's saying. There's a lot of LPs in that show too, right? What's an LP mean? Little person. There's yeah. There's one. one. I yeah, thought there was like 10 in the first. Oh, that's the most racist thing, uh, sizest thing I've ever heard in my fucking life. <laughs> it's exhausting to act like they're going to be regular people in a show. You know what I mean? It's like, give us, I get right. it. You're the court jester. You know, they oh, put you fuck. peanut butter in you your head. You son of a bitch. But to fucking act like you're a regular actor and we're all going to sign up for that shit. I, I can't believe you're saying this out loud now to, to the little people out there. What are you this talking about? This is his opinion, not Bobby Lee. I agree, though. It's, it's, opinion. Like, it's like fat models, too. Like, like they're regular models. They're not. They're fat models. You know where you belong. Yeah. Do a fucking cartwheel. Get us something to drink. Holy fuck. That's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. That's not true. You can be an accountant and you know how to count and all that stuff. <laughs> There's Asians? No. No, oh. midgets. No, oh. there's no. <laughs> we're talking about midgets, right? <laughs> I thought we were talking about Asians. No, really? And you're like, they can be count. I was uh, like, yeah. Uh, oh, oh. Anyway, you, why not? So you don't, you'll refuse to watch Game of Thrones? Yeah, I mean, until they recast. Uh, all right, can I say this? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I will move on. I will move on from it. I'm going to say one thing and then we'll move on. I'll never talk about it again. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, with the arm. God damn. Yeah, it. it's it's yeah. here's the deal. Okay. It's how he is at his show too, though. He's always like I know, he's moving a, it. Oh, yeah. 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 He's like, <laughs> right? Yeah. That's you. Okay. okay. Let that me is it. Do, do, do. Say what I'm gonna say. Okay. Do say Tom. It. Do say Tom. Say it. Yeah. Yeah. A hundred percent accurate. Yeah. Here's and also we were gonna buy a house closer to where you live, but we didn't. We Why? Didn't fall Why? For your trap. Trap. It's way the fuck out. There. Well, don't Dude, say where we have live. A big house. I'm not gonna say. That's how I said that. Big yeah. house, big yard. I don't give a fuck. We Animals. got a studio city. We got a house. Oh, you did get a house. Yeah, we bought one. Yeah, we, okay. you did. Congrats. It closed last week. Yeah. Hey. When do you move? We have the keys now. I don't. I'm gonna wait a cut like three Yay, weeks. You guys, that's so exciting. Tell me about the house. Describe the house. Come on, give us. Well, all right, like but it. I'm not gonna forget about this Game of Thrones rant I'm about to do. Tell me the Game of Thrones rant, and then I'll ask you about the house. Nobody okay. watches that show. <laughs> okay. You know, it's so silly. You guys play the silly games, huh? I'm what is it? What do you right. mean? You're playing the dum dums. What are you right? talking about? What I'm saying is, is that, you know, when I Star Wars so in the much. late seventies, when Star Wars was a big hit, and and you ask somebody like, "Have you seen Star Wars?" and they're like, "No, I won't watch it." There's there's dragons in it, <laughs> right? You'd be like. Did you see it? No, that's not what I'm into. It's a cultural event. We it's tried. You didn't tried. try. It's a cultural event. Two times a we season. tried. I tried twice to get into right, it, and I was okay. so it's fucking right. bored. Fine. Fine. There was no, fight, fight, you're, fight, you're, fight. You're I couldn't right. do I, it. I, well, I know I'm right. I, I think it is a cultural event, and I think it is uh, something that people should make an attempt. Like, if you're living in the current times, to be familiar with like the pop culture phenomenon. That's why that I'm time. on TikTok. I'm curating the best videos. Are <laughs> you guys on those. there? Whoa. 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 <laughs> hey, Julie. I heard you bitches been looking for me. Yeah. Bitch, here I go. <laughs> hey, yeah. Most importantly, I have a question for you, being that you are Asian, both of you. Yeah. Is it possible, is it even physically possible to get full eating sushi? Mm, the way we eat it, yeah. Now, okay, here's what, I'm, here's, here's what I'm struggling with. So I've been sushi shamed. We both have many times. <laughs> so many times. By both chefs and servers where they're like, that's too much food. And I'm being polite by not doing their accent. So they'll say like, that's enough. Just do the accent. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, I, it just feels more yeah, organic. Yeah, yeah. Like. So that it's too much food. <laughs> so yeah. They, oh my God. They've actually been like, don't order this amount. And I'm like, all right. And then, like, you know, start. Like, and are you still hungry? Yeah. Okay, then, I'll play then, you. I'll play you. Play the guy. Okay. Because like, I don't know what you're saying. Okay. okay. Excuse me, Ching Chong. Um. Hey, hey. Ching hey. Chong. Nobody <laughs> says that. Nobody. <laughs> right. Ching Chong. Ching, there we go. Ching Chong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um. Hey, Ching. Um. Ching Chong. Ching Chong. Ching Chong. 
Should I get this <laughs> number three, the boat? You know what I mean? The boat with all the sushi on it? How many fighting come with you? <laughs> <laughs> What did you even say? He knows I what I said. Oh my god, that was the most racist thing I've ever heard. Oh my god, that was so racist. That was, racist. That was the most racist Asian yeah. accent ever, right? I've ever heard in my life. What are you talking about? We gotta about? get out of here. That was dead oh on. My god, that was fucking that crazy. Was dead good. on. Do it so again. racist. Do it again. Yeah, yeah. Am I fine? Come with you. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. All right. So yeah, yeah. All right. So we did it. So then a couple weeks ago, I go to one, and it's always now. You know, I go, I'm always going to do this omakase and let them, let the chef take me on a ride. If you go to a good mm-hmm. place. Yeah. Okay. So I sat, I sat at the bar. That's so why I took out my Wait, you went to Sugarfish or something? No. Oh. I went to a straight no, up the bullshit. best joint in town. I'll tell you off mic. So wait, wait, why can't you tell me the sushi I'm restaurant? I'm trying to fucking ruin it. For All right, go, go. So I go there. The, the guy fucking rides his bike to the fish market every morning at two in the morning. He's a fucking, you know, so he, he's like. You know, telling me, giving me piece by piece, describing it. And then I'm like, you know, it's delicious. And then it's like, he's like, full? I'm like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> you want more? I'm like, yeah, please. A couple more pieces still. I'm like, yeah, dude. I want like 40 <laughs> more pieces. And then I feel Never like. Enough. Then we go out to dinner where uh, we have, we had a, a work dinner at another sushi place. It was another off, like authentic Japanese place. And I start ordering off the menu, like four pieces of this, six of this, four, because there's a group of us, and the lady's like, you should just do omakase and, and let the, because if you're going to order this much, I'm like, oh, okay. Then we each get like four separate trays of four, mm. oh, basic oh, or less. Oh, and not only that, it takes fucking yeah. 15 minutes between in between each, each round of yeah. and then, four pieces then of Then she's fish. like, good night. And we're like, <laughs> um, I thought that was the fucking warm up. Is is so obvious, you say you go deep, you eat a lot, but is the etiquette is like authentic Sushi eating supposed to be just here are some flavors, or is it supposed to be you can actually get full satisfied? You know what I mean? Is it like offensive, literally, to eat that much? I think that maybe just in general, Japanese people don't eat like super large portions. But when we eat sushi, um, <laughs> we don't go fun. by the rules. <laughs> we go to this place in Little Tokyo, mm-hmm. and we sit there, and we when we haven't had enough, the trick is start ordering hand rolls. Yes, yeah. yes, we tried that with uh, Anne. We started doing yeah. that. But their hand rolls were weenie. But do oh, you, really? they were you just order like what you want or you do? Maybe just go to oh Flood Ruckers. Um, we, we do both. Yeah. So oh. we do that. And then we when we're done with that, we order more. Oh, you do? Okay. But we, they never give us a hard time. We, we walk out of there full and I eat a don't lot even, of rice. Don't I eat answer a lot. any more of his questions about sushi. Why? It's fucking dumb. What are you why talking about? Because I'll tell you why, right? Why can't you say this? Bye bye. And they go, bye bye. You go, I want another one uh, to play it. Why can't you order more? No, I'm telling you. They say I'm they, telling you, you they, they, they don't let it order. They've they said no they, to us. They're no, so, they, oh, so you ordered. So, so they literally have said no. So got, arm, no I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. I just want to be clear, right? Yes. So, yes. This is what happened. Yeah. Salute. What's that? Do you know, do you want more? <laughs> Yes, I do. No. Is that what happened? It's, it, here's how it happened. No. Yeah. Here's how it happened. And then I'll have another one of those. And I, I too much. What? <laughs> you order too much. <laughs> and I go, I, no, no, I food. want No, it. she yeah. goes, you order too much food. It's too much food. Too much. And we're like, what? <laughs> too much food. Yeah, she wouldn't yeah. bring it to us. Then, then with the with the all star, no, I'm not. No, it's in Redondo Beach. I will Listen, fucking give then, you the address. Then the oh. all star, the all star chef. I'm telling you about the guy who's like <laughs> yeah. unbelievable. Yeah, literally, he's like, still hungry? And I go, yeah. And he'll go like, you know, da da da. Five minutes later, he's like, two pieces. <laughs> and then I'll eat them, and he's like, still hungry? I'm like, yeah, man. He gave yeah. me two more bites. <laughs> yeah, and then he'll be like, yeah, da 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 da, one two. And I eat them. He's like, "Did you ever you see the Dill hungry? Did, did you ever see the movie Eero Dreams of yes. Sushi? Yes, yes, you have. Yes. yes. Okay. Well, then if you <laughs> that's how he says good morning. Yeah, no. Yeah. Okay. Because I saw it too. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so, anywho, um, you saw that movie. Yes. That you know it's a it's an art sushi. Right. Yes. Right. But we're in America. Yeah, I understand that. I like so a lot. Go, all right. Well, then go to fucking. Fuddruckers. 
They don't make you good fat, sushi. Flood you burger. fat white people can go. Wait, there's that's your favorite for you of all time. I I'm not ashamed of it. You like FUD. That's, your, that's Fud my Rutgers favorite. Can I go, do you think I can go to FUD Ruckers and be like, you guys got spicy tuna rolls? <laughs> no. And then but maybe that's like, not sure. for you, though. I know. There's some foods Would for you. Would you go to this sushi place with me? If I tell you it's as good as it gets? Yes. If and you, you go, embarrass me, you know though, it, it's end game. How would us. I embarrass you? By asking dumb things. What am I going to ask? Yeah. What am I going to ask? Like, what? Where's this fish from Michigan? I, I don't know what your question is. Is it be. one of those? Uh, <laughs> I don't know why. Is I don't know why. Just that. I don't know why is it that. a fancy looking place? No, because okay, the place, our favorite dumb. place, is a hole in the wall. This is and a only hole like in the twelve wall. people. We at go to a, bar. We go to a place like Eero Dreams of Sushi this, where yeah. that's you don't, what this is. That's yeah. what this is. Where, you, where they they just make it. Can't be on your phone. Can't add soy sauce. Dude, here's the thing. This place. When you walk in, you, the, your first thought is like, I'm going to get robbed. <laughs> That's what you think when you walk in there. And then you're like, holy shit, this is a fucking dump, man. Yeah. Like orange wall. And then, you know, Roaches you let on him the floor. serve you in this fucking dump. And every bite is more amazing than the last one. Yeah. And he's like, $400. You're like, what do you spend the money on, bro? Because it's not on decor. It's not on anything. I mean, it's like. No alcohol even. He, Maybe it doesn't have. Maybe the fish is so fresh. It's super yeah, fresh. It's it is. It's super fresh. When, there's one they serve you alive, remember? And you it like moves around on your mouth. Have yeah. you hey. guys seen Old Boy? Yeah. Okay, you know That's when old. The, the when the octopus uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 thing yeah. on his face? Oh. That's a great Wait, scene. Are you guys, by the way, are you are you going to get married? Um, I, I, okay, it's, 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 we don't know. Okay, what you're doing right now, I don't know what you're doing. You can't go from sushi to that, okay? Okay. All right, let's just go to this now. Let, let me oh, ask you a question so. now. Yeah. The, the quick answer. I've never required it. I've never really had so great much. examples of marriage in my life. Yeah. So what? Yeah, yeah, right yeah. here. Right here. That's not. I mean, true. But in like in my own family. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So. So here's what I want. It's a house full of lies. Here's where you live. Okay. Here's what. It's a house full of lies. And I get it. Um, let me say. I'm going to ask you a question real quick, though, because I have I'm going through a problem. I need your advice. Okay. All right. Are so, you being sincere? Or are you messing with me? Fucking fuck, man! What I'm the trying, fuck? I, 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 fucking fuck! What? what? I'm asking if you're being sincere. Bro, I'm not. There's nothing wrong with me. I'm asking if you're being sincere. About yeah, the I, I'm always sincere. That's why when okay. I. All right. Okay. I'm take always it, sincere. I'm a easy. sincere guy. Take it easy. All right. Please tell me the question. What exactly sincere mean? <laughs> no, what exactly? Is it a real life mean? question or it is, you just it is. so we're bought, we bought a house? Okay. Because mm -hmm. I know you bought your house over there. Yeah. I didn't say it. Okay. Okay. Now. We know, okay, so we, we need to get a lot of fucking furniture. Yeah. yeah. Right? What did you do? Did you buy all of it at once? Or was it like mm -hmm. a three-year thing? Like, here's an ottoman. Do you want the real answer? Yeah. So I lived in so many places where you go like, the fuck? You, you just end up walking into rooms and you're like, oh, I'll take care of this. And then it's like a table. And then one thing on, you see just blank walls. And I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. That we finally pulled the trigger and hired somebody, an interior designer who comes and looks and basically consults with you on each room. Like, how yeah. about this? How about that? Mm -hmm. And you make choices. And the, the truth is it took time to do all the room. So, you know, you'd have your prior, like I need to get the living room and the kitchen done. Uh, but then over time, over a, a year, year, it takes a year, a year <clears throat> of like, and then how about this other room? Well, we'll get to that room like that. Yeah. So it took time because it's really stressing me out. But that's the that's thing all. is you need to put that stress onto somebody else so yeah, you, you hire someone and just do the primary rooms your living room your bedroom first. your kitchen yeah those kitchen. are the three rooms you need the most and then worry about yeah and then take your time with the other ones if you have a guest room you're like dude you can do that right uh, uh, how many rooms are in the house just three it's not it's not a very big house it's a very it's big one but, but we like what i loved about it is that when you walk in there's like the first floor would be the lobby of the podcast and then the podcast room yep and then when you go upstairs, it's, just, it's where the kitchen and the master is. So yeah. it's like, it's separated. What I don't like about now is that people just go through my apartment. Yeah, it's, it's too feel, personal. That's it's horrible. Personal, yeah, so. That's why we moved the studio. It's one of the reasons we moved home. the studio. Yeah. We always go back. And forth. But thank you for having us on. Okay. Are we ending it? Uh, I'm ending so. it. I'm just trying to figure out. Just so I want to get certain things out because when I leave podcasts, I, I always go, I should have said that. What do you want to say? That I love you both so much. Wow. I do. Um, I'll tell you why. I didn't wow. like you before. Yeah. I didn't know you before. Right. To mm -hmm. Tom. Yeah. Like when I first, I honestly, when I did, when I did Oddball, they go, who's, I go, who's in it? They go, Sebastian. 
And then they go, um, Dan Cook. I go, who else? They go, Tom Segura. I'm like, what? You know, but then when I saw you perform and the nice gesture you, you did in, for me, I just know that this is going to be a lifelong friendship. So when you heard I was on it, you went, what? <laughs> That's what you're telling me? You're like, like what? That, no, oh, say it again. Fuck. Ask me, ask me again. So when you heard I was on, you were like, what? I like that. Like, what am I doing on the lineup? But what is great? It's okay. Yeah, yeah that's what it me. is. You yeah. can tell me. That's what it is. Clara, can I ask you a really dumb question? Yeah. Like, it's so stupid. You guys are probably going to think way less of me, but I feel like I have to. Do you ever, um, this is so dumb. This is I, about his peener? No, I oh. have nightmares that I get tattoos. Like, yeah. I have nightmares. And then I can't get rid of it. Do you ever, like, go, like, oh, I wish I hadn't done that to my all the time i have really? a, i have a tramp stamp on my back me too me that, too yeah, that i got when i was 16 and i took the design off of wall me off, too and i'm like yeah that dragon looks like something angelina jolie got yeah same here wait a minute and bobby what's spray, your, tra- your bobby tramp stamp's a dragon yeah your back. mine goes, too Burr. it looks like the lowenbrow beer symbol. i have to see it i think Look. mine too i have to see yours do we have the same tramp possibly stamp? it's a very popular dragon in the 90s well, you have a dragon yeah. too. Early two thousands yes. for the two two thousand for me, dude. We might have the same tram um, stamp. Yes, in that case, I don't want it. I got gone. one right here. Um, no. no. <laughs> oh, no. Bobby, are you wearing a tampon? <laughs> Is that a maxi pad? <laughs> no, it's his tag. Oh my god! You got, when did you get that? Well, what happened was, <laughs> what happened was, what happened was, I met Polly Shore in nineteen ninety six. Uh huh. And he goes. Come to Vegas with me. So when I went to Vegas with him, I opened for him at the Riviera. How was it? I only had five minutes of material. Oh, my God. But Polly had me open, and it was me, Wild Willie Parsons, and Polly. But I was, I went to walk by a tattoo parlor, and I go, I saw a ladybug. So I want that ladybug on my butt cheek. I never had a tattoo. And, but then later, I sat on it, and it smeared, and then it looked like a dingleberry. <laughs> It looked like a piece of poo that was like shooting out of my asshole if it, at a certain angle. So for years, like women would say, yeah, I, saw, I thought, you know, that was a real piece of shit on your thing, on your ass. So then I, I put a star over it. Really? Yeah, because I, it, the embarrassment of people thinking that there was like a piece of little poo shooting out of my butthole. That's not a good look. Do you ever? Wow. Do you? Re, did you ever shoot good loads? Because they seem to be, like they're really disappointing like now. Like when you were do a you teenager. you feel like when you were younger, did they have some distance to them? Right, fuck her. F- <laughs> fuck you about the distance, babe. It's because it's let me truth. say this. Uh, let me say this, okay? Let me say this. And All the right? quantity is it a little? Just a little Tiny, dribble? Yeah, but if but very you, thick. Very thick. If you had really? a microscope, that means he's dehydrated. He's probably not drinking enough fluid. Yeah. If you put my cum in a microscope and you looked at my cum, I bet you money, it's uh, it's more like my parents than me. What do you mean? In terms of work ethic. <laughs> you think like, you're working it, hard? Yeah, I think me. My, I'm just a lazy guy, but my family, my like through generations, were hardworking people. Yeah. So if you looked at my cum, they'd have like minor hats. You know what I mean? And they would be like, we're ready to work. You know, you know what I mean? But like, you know, so don't think that my cum is weak. Yeah. It penetrated her shit. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose. Anyway, we good? Yeah, I want to show you. So one day, <laughs> when you really let that, those soldiers work and do their thing, mm. if you're lucky, it will end in a beautiful birth. Oh no! I hate these water videos. births. A natural water birth I, in a jacuzzi. And it feels so good. The chlorine and oh, fucking Richard Kaczynski will be people. there in the tub with you. <laughs> oh, oh, come on, baby! Imagine if you're uh, just the neighbor and you don't know what's going on. You yeah, don't know she's giving birth. Yeah, and you're just hearing that. You're like, you know, you know it's what? Really, as it's as time to move. As the only person in the room that's given birth twice. Excuse me. I'm offended. You are? No, I mean, really, guys. I mostly hate him. I yeah. hate ever. I hate all of these dudes. The way bags. that he's just looking at. Look her. at yeah. his fucking soda he's like, on he's the like, side just of the have thing. it already. <laughs> just have the baby. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. 
she looks like. So good right now. What is that? Oh, I'm pushing. I'm pushing, ladies. I'm pushing. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> See, white people are fun, bro. White people are fun. <sighs> that could be your next girl, you know what I mean? A nice white lady like that. Just like, <laughs> let's have this baby in the tub. In are we done with this clip? I, I want to I wanna be supportive anymore. of anyone's birthing process, but that's oh. obnoxious. Not no, one particular one. Or lame. <laughs> it doesn't have to be this crazy. It just doesn't. You know, there's hospitals, there's drugs. <laughs> is there more? <sighs> there is more? <laughs> oh, she's theatrical at this point. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. This is for the gram. recognizing that feeling. Oh, yeah, that, that right there really bothered me. What an me. asshole. Yeah. That part she's did. performing. She's, yeah. This shit is so painful. There's no way it's remotely positive. It's not. It's I had a good time there. Hurt. It's fine. <laughs> Can I ask you in this thing? I what's hate the, them both. We were just talking about selling panties. Is there a is, is there an actual graphic? Of, oh no, that is that my thing. I got you. I thought somebody actually had one on there. You ever think about selling your panties online, Bobby? Oh, like worn panties. Yeah. Um, I bet you could get some money. You could get a premium for hers. But I only wear. I don't wear cute panties. I wear granny five thousand. You could probably still get Does, them. even more. Yeah. I like yeah. them just. Above my belly button. Sell so those. I have my period panties all day. Oh. I love them. Those, those would get even a higher <laughs> upgrade. Price. Yeah. Be like, be like, today was today was these are period panties, and I was real farty today. And they'll be like a thousand dollars. Yeah. The dirtier and the nastier, the better. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. The more ratchet. Yeah. 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 Yeah, just start start an Instagram page called uh, Kalila's Granny Panties, <laughs> and you just put pictures up, and you go DM me for customs. Bobby's looking jealous. What's what? going on? It'd be a money idea. It's great. I actually order the old lady Korean panties online. Seriously, or the Filipino ones, the Soen ones. Uh -huh. They're really just really horrendous looking, but they're the best to wear. And what do you like best about they kind of hold you in? Yeah, and yeah. I I don't like um um I don't like. But lace, I don't like no. any of that. I like comfort. I agree. I like full flavored cotton, yeah. you know, breathable material. Same. I even have the kind that catch a little bit of pee because every time I mm. cough, I pee a little. Yeah. So that's kind of a neat thing. There's period panties. Have you tried those? What are they? They're just panties that absorb. You can bleed in them. Oh, I can't do that. I can't do it either. Yeah. It's a have little Have you ever gnarly. signed up for anything like that, by the way? <laughs> I feel like you have a a thing maybe where you're like i used to sign up where people would send me their arm <laughs> armpit trimmings or something you're or something nasty like you've signed up for like a panty subscription <laughs> nothing soiled underwear it's so funny that you say things like this you Why? enjoy smells you probably enjoy mm -hmm. your own smells. i'm probably yeah. um the most christian person you know <laughs> really yeah my foundation is um midwest for sure okay so um whatever you're asking me right now <laughs> is it's no? not it's it's a house yeah, not built on sand but you look smelly like i feel Fuck like it. you're smelly it, though, right? <laughs> because i'm gonna say this i spent how much money do i spend? i spend so much money on cologne you do yeah i, I go to santa i go to la Lavo to get santel 33 you know what's really weird what? about his armpits he doesn't naturally have any body odor that's exactly what but, i'm saying but he does it's more of a scratch and sniff situation where if you Babe, were to smell it that. directly you'd smell nothing but if you were to scratch Rattle, it scratch it Who the amount of like smell that? that comes out how much smell a lot it exactly. smells like it, it, yeah if you scratch any living being enough blood's gonna come out and that's gonna smell no, no, blood doesn't smell like that, oh, like right out oh, the gate. Yeah. No. No, 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 Do his balls smell bad? I mm, think they would. I just don't think he's a great wiper. Yeah. Wait, yeah. are you doused in cologne all the time? Mm hmm. Wait, what's I your. Just, I just like smells. He doesn't, yeah. he wants to smell like the future, so he always goes for scents that smell like a Greek church. Mm. Yeah, like I very, like, are they uh, nice smells? Uh, no, not I don't, always. I, it, needs, it needs to be like, it's going to be like, what smells so weird? But here's, that's here's, a better compliment then for me than for you. Yeah, then, then so, you if smell somebody, great? Said, uh, somebody smells great. Yeah, you like, want someone to go. Smell? What's yeah, that I, I'd rather have that. Smell. Yeah. Now, do you <laughs> you don't want your lady to be like that's a? I nice don't give smell. a fuck about her nose, but the thing oh, is, is wow. I love her as a person though. But you don't want her to be like God. That smells good. She already loves it. <laughs> she already loves my pheromones. She I likes have a smell. choice. Yeah. But what's your okay? So what's the cologne? Is it a expensive cologne? Like I'll. Dude, I'm telling you right now. I don't know anything La about you know, Have you heard of La Labo? I don't. I don't know what no, that La is. La Labo smells good. He goes to the um, Santa Maria Novella. 
What's that go there too? It's it's, it's a it's a cologne shop, and okay. they have some really hardcore scents that smell just like wood burning. Like yeah. what's burning? Oh, it's well, Bobby. I like that. Where yeah. is that? Yeah, that's neat. There's like, one in Melrose. That's one like a, that's a Spanish. Is this like one. this yeah, is yeah, like yeah. the yeah. the cologne spot? Oh, Los him, Lobos. Yeah. What's it called? Um, it called? I, okay, Santa what? Santa Maria Novella. Or right no, now. or La Labo. I think La Labo is cool because. La la Babe, why are you holding up my finger like this? Oh, but I like the idea of like smelling <laughs> like burning wood. Like yeah. I, I love those smells more yeah. than I do traditional. Are those two different stores you named? Yes. yes. I want to go with you. Can I go with you? Oh, I'd love to go to La La Labo. I'll buy you something too. Yeah, okay. they don't have a lot of fragrant things. They just uh -huh. have they, they have things that smell like other things. Okay. So my friend Kelly Cole, <laughs> who used to own a clothing store on Fairfax, one day he was walking to La Brea and I go, I smelled them, and I go, were you in a fire? He goes, no. You smell like you're, you were in a fire. He goes, oh, La Labo. Mm. And I went and got it, yeah. And you love it. I love it. That's cool. And, but Do you, you know like why, you you know why I stopped? Smell? Do you know why I stopped, though? Because that little weasel, Tony Hinchcliffe. Yeah. What's his name? Tony Hinchcliffe? Yeah. Hinchcliffe? Yeah. That fucker asked me. He went, because I didn't think he could afford it. But he afforded it. He could afford it. And he was smelling La Lavo, and then I stopped wearing it because I didn't want to smell like him. Yeah, but La Lavo has gotten very popular in the last two years. So I'm not really into that. Anymore. Did you like it when he smelled like that? Though? Yeah, I yeah. actually that do. Tony Hinchcliffe. Yeah, if in a, a, a like a zombie apocalypse, you don't want him on your team. No, he's a kind of a guy that will stab you in the back. Okay. Whoa, he'll steal your food. Whoa, right? Okay. He's not good with rations. Are you being serious? What do you mean? Okay, we can't we can't just sit here and rag on. He's not here to defend himself. I'm just kidding. I love him. Oh, I thought you were being serious. <laughs> Jesus. Um, I love starting wars. Jesus. Let's do this. Look at this. Check this out. A more? This is at the grocery store. Look right. at this. Oh. She's just pissing. Yo, pissing. this nasty motherfucker. What? It's a girl. Fuck you. Jesus Christ. It's a girl? Yeah. She's actually oh, pretty. Shit. She just pissed all over the ground. But she doesn't look like homeless. No, but she, the eyes she's crazy. Give away a lot, yeah, she's though. the eyes. Definitely eye. crazy. The eyes but this is what my Yo. sister deals with every day of her life. What do you? Oh, and as a jail nurse, and she's the head nurse yeah. there. She just gets fecal smearers doing art, <laughs> and if they want different like color gradients in the art, they'll pick different parts of their poo to sure. use as Babe, green. Tell them and what yellow. I've done. Tell them what I've done. What have you done with poo? Yeah. You shit in the back seat and I have to clean it. That not everyone only that, knows not that. Not only that, but what? At, at work, what I used to do. What? I, what? At Mad, but Mad TV. Wait, sh you've done all kinds of shit art. What, what, what are you doing? Wait, when I, shit, when shit I shit in, in the... dick oh, that's right. oh, yeah, when you... But you shit in people's, you know, property. That's yeah, just yeah, what yeah, you yeah, do. Yeah. Wait, what? What? You shit in the back seat of your car? Yeah. Yeah. He he didn't want to actually crawl out of the car because he said that would be too embarrassing. So he decided that the back seat was adequate and um my friend jenna and i had to clean it this guy's this guy's yeah. mr missionary what is bed. going the guy on that shits yeah. in the back seat of the car what is going on i also on? pooed in um my uh, boss's um office how did he okay. feel about that he couldn't they couldn't fire me why because i was popular on Matt tv at the time yeah. he knows that you did it he, immediately he, yeah he saw me he saw you shit in his office what, yeah. what's with the acting out you, you need to see a shrink you got to get yeah. the therapy. You're, you're acting out. He is. You know what? I never yeah. thought of it as that. I and but you're right. It is acting yeah. out. I always yeah. just right. thought it was okay. like him being an exhibitionist, like a toddler. Yeah, yeah. And especially to shit and knowing that your your lady's gonna clean up your browns. Uh. I mean, that is just so nasty. You know that, that is, she loves you. That's just. Why are you trying to push her away? Oh. Okay. Yeah. Here's the deal. Why are you trying to revolt her and, and discuss The time her? I shit in my in the back seat was four months ago. Okay, this is what happened. Four Tell months? Me. Five o'clock on a Friday. You're a sixty year old man. You five o'clock better than that. <laughs> five o'clock on a Friday, yeah. right? I'm on the one oh one and it's congested. Yeah. Right? And I had a nine one one and you're shit emergency. Both driving down there? No, I was by myself. Okay. 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 No, what what, what does one do? pull over and find a place was, to shit you're in the middle of the 101 yeah and it's friday clock five o'clock on a friday yeah. i could 
I all like it was one of those situations like I'm gonna go in the next twenty seconds no matter what happens. Mm, it's logistically it doesn't make sense because if you have time to pull over and crawl into the back seat, you you have yeah, time to step out of the car silly. and poo. You could have pulled to the side and then it's shit real, out of the car. Real crazy move. Yeah. Did you have diarrhea? Yeah. That, no, 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 no. If that's the was, thing. Christina, it wasn't diarrhea, so I it know it wasn't, it, it wasn't that diarrhea. urgent. Why would I do? It wasn't that urgent because it was still semi-solid, mostly solid. My diarrhea so, is notoriously and semi-solid. Where's this Why are you log acting out? Ground? What's going on? What is that? The log is on the ground. Oh, no. It's on the actual passenger seat. No. I mean. I mean what? And, why does wait, she have to clean cloth? it? Why couldn't you clean? Is there cloth, clean? leather? What is it? It's cloth. And but but and why does it? just shits right. No, it doesn't put like something on, on no, the seat? Mm-mm. See, his dad used to at least put All a plate right, don't you bring underneath. my dad into this shit? Your dad? My dad's a good man. He, he, I, he, he worked you. hard. I believe you. Okay. But he shit in the car too? He has a problem. <laughs> but on a plate, right? Yeah, oh, baby, shut the fuck up, all right? <laughs> my dad had a stroke. No, but this Leave is when he was healthy. Yeah, when he was healthy, he used to do wild things. Like shit in cars? <laughs> Whatever, man. On plates? Hey, fuck it. All right? <laughs> I'm vulnerable in why, front of you right now. Well, why does she have to clean it? Why wouldn't... Ching chong, ching chong, ching chong, ching chong, ching chong, ching chong. One, why? But one, why? Well, no, no, no. Let me ask you. It's one thing to shit in your car. <laughs> one <is fine>. what? <laughs> yeah. It's one thing to shit in your car. But wouldn't you be so embarrassed? So, listen, if I had to shit in my car, I would be so full of shame that I would find a place to hide. I would pull yeah, over and I would clean it up secretly. I would not go, "Hey, Tom, come clean up my shit." <laughs> That's crazy. It's that, that, part's that part's crazy. That's crazy. That's what? crazy to but me than shitting her, in your car. You told her, hey, there's a log in the yeah, car. Yeah, you clean it up. <laughs> That's crazy. It's crazier than shit. <laughs> You're out of your fucking mind. Yeah. <sighs> One day, Ari, Ari, yeah, shit for years. Yeah, Ari Schaefer is what we call it. Okay. You got to lean back, Bobby. The camera can't see you. Where is it? Lean back. It's over here. So. Is that good? Yeah, it's probably better. Yeah. He, he shit. Um, on my car, in, why, in why, the handle. Why did he do that? In the handle, <sighs> I, uh, on the windshield wipers, right? <sighs> he put a little bit on the windshield. All right, thanks for coming. It's been really neat. Wait, I want to know why did he do that? What prompted that? No, why are you making her clean up your browns? <laughs> I don't want to hear about Ari. Why are you making your lady do? Can you it? please tell me why Ari did that to you? Because I peed on his. But that's not, that, that's not, a, that's not the proper response. It's not equal. It's right. like, I you agree. know, it's like, you know, the Japanese it's attacked called, Pearl Harbor, right? Right. And then Hiroshima, Nagasaki. I mean, it's, it's yeah. a little drastic. It's, it's, yeah, it's called. Am I not right? It's called escalating. Yeah, that was it's way a, yeah. like, you know, maybe one Nagasaki would have been cool. Yeah. But you don't destroy two cities. Right, because you killed 300 Americans. So it's fine. Yeah. What they did was wrong. Yeah. And they read the situation wrong. Yeah. The Japanese should know better. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, is that pee and poo are completely different ball games. All right. I hear you. And also on top of that, just real quick, because I know this is the end. Okay. Well, poo is, poo is, uh, to ask another adult to clean up adult poo, it's, it's ridiculous. Okay. It's not even an ask. It, it, yeah. it is it's an not an ask. How did, just, lady, wait, no, no, no. Can I just say something? Yes. It's not an ask, bro. Let's, let's <laughs> so, do this. Let's do this. Wait a minute. I, I, what? No, 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 no. <laughs> what? I mean, take us through. Uh, wait, wait. You have the emergency and you go. We, we're we past that. Do you now on your way home go, you're going to have to help me when I get home? Or do you wait till you get home and say, Kalila, okay. out in the car? Like, take us Kalila, through the also, Kalila has also seen me do it. She's seen me <laughs> run across to a street, to a house, and I shit on who? On somebody's what? Magnolias. Magnolias. Okay, good. So there's a fa- another fact. Right? I Why did, did you do, do that? that? Because I had diarrhea again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, so what I'm saying is, is that when I have to shit, I don't have the proper, maybe the muscles deteriorated That's through fine. time. That's okay. fine. Okay. Listen, you should, yeah, you should we got you that part. to. I'm, what not, about, I'm not upset about Back that. to Christina's point. How do you wait till you get home, till you see her, to let her know the situation? Or have you called right, So her? when I came up that day with the, in the back seat, I was covered in shit because it was all of <laughs> my jeans. It was, right? No, you called me. I know I called you. I know I called you. Yeah. And no. what do you say? And he was like, something terrible has happened, but he's also giggling. <laughs> yeah, something yeah, really, yeah, really bad's sure, happening, sure. but he's like holding back just <laughs> yeah, laughter. Sure. I'm like, yeah. oh no. 
I already yeah. know. I already know what's happened. It's life. Because that wasn't the first life time. Is an adventure. It's happened before. <laughs> right. So you knew. When one door closes, many open. Can I be completely? I have so a theory wait, about him. Do you sure. Volunteer no, no, no let Kalila okay, tell sorry. the theory. Because she has she's um, the voice of reason here. I honestly think in a different life, he would have been um, a scat um, porn actor. Hmm. He would have been that. that <laughs> That German guy who just eats poo out of someone's ass. Yeah. Yep. He's he has a poo fascination. So do I. And yeah. I think that it yeah. runs deep in his family. I think his his brother has you gonna, a. Oh you wait, have, you're gonna bring my family into it now, lady? Your dad shit. All right, on my dad plates. has stroke. He Wait, did shit on plates, when he though. was healthy. Why did he shit on plates? He didn't shit because on Because he plate. was more considerate than this asshole. Wait, shit on a plate in his car? No, at work. Like a paper plate. He wouldn't shit on the actual back seat. He would find a paper plate to shit on and dispose of the paper yeah, yeah, yeah. plate. That's why would he do nice. that as opposed That's nice. Why would he do that as opposed to the as a toilet? My 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 dad. My dad used to own Fashion Gal. Okay. Where's Fashion Gal? There was one in Encinitas. Okay. Clothing stores all over the country. This is before Forever Twenty One right. became a thing. I, I, I want to say I'm fashion. familiar with fashion. Is you that possible? It is possible. Yeah. San Fernando Valley was yes, there a location. Yes. Growing okay. up. Yeah. Okay. okay. Go and ahead. in fact, I just did a job where a woman was a wore, she was makeup, right? And she goes, I grew up in San Diego. Where she goes, Encinitas. Like, oh, my parents had a store in Encinitas. She goes, your parents own Fashion Gal. I go, yeah. He goes, your dad fired me in two days. Accused me of stealing a thousands of dollars. <laughs> I go, that's my dad. That's him. Where was he? Why was he shitting on a plate? Because toward the end of my dad's working life, yeah, he used to have employees, but he couldn't afford it anymore. So um, he owned a clothing store that he was. Only, don't do that. Don't smile like that. I'm just getting vulnerable. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Could, don't do that right now. I didn't man. know if you were doing a thing. No, no, I'm okay. being really vulnerable. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, but <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't know if you. you you're I know what. I know, sometimes. but when I'm vulnerable, I didn't mean to. No, no, no. When I'm vulnerable and you're smirking, I didn't I mean I, to. I, I, honestly, that's the, that pisses me off I, the most. I wasn't trying. He to, does it all the time. I, 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 can I just disrespect. finish it without you smirking? Yes, yes, yes. Sorry. So my dad, um, you know, he worked so hard and couldn't afford, you know, employees anymore. So you know, he couldn't walk away from the register so he used to shit on a plate <laughs> you're being serious yeah he is, this is. really the yeah how, I mean, how, how, no that's not true so he's in you, fashion gal no hold on he's in fashion gal it's two in the afternoon and there's customers walking <laughs> and he says oh, i can't walk i can't close the doors and lock it for a minute and go in the back and shit I'm going to let the customers looking here and I'm going to shit it's in a so plate. It's so funny that this you say that. It doesn't even make sense. It doesn't make any sense because I'm going to tell you, do you know? <laughs> uh, all right. That's interesting that you would say that because do you know what, what the layout of, of, the, fashion my, of my dad's store was? Because you're making an assumption that there was a bathroom in the warehouse or behind. Right. Why wouldn't there he build a one. toilet because so his employees and him could take a shit there? I mean, it's silly. It's Most, silly because my dad I've worked retail. Own the, I've worked retail so in small you, stores also, and there was a toilet. So you, let me say something, okay? Let's say you open up a store at a mall, right? And there's no toilet You've in the to building. You've got to sit back. You've got to lean back. The camera can't see you, maniac. All right. <laughs> so don't do that. It happened. My dad shit on a plate. Okay. All right. This and doesn't get to the the core of why do you expect Kalila to do some push-ups <laughs> to clean your browns? What about that behavior? That Think about it. Why do you want the woman you're sexually active with to clean up your sloppy diarrhea browns? Maybe I enable him. I think that's part. part you think of you're my gonna? Fault. Wow. See, she she blames herself. How'd you do that, fucking it's wizardry? You got her to blame herself for having to clean up it's your her brown. Fault. It's her fault. It's her fault. All of it. You guys don't do that again. Therapy, therapy. All right. Anyway, what's anything? Uh, uh, is there any new horrible hilarious or no? Or is it all the other one? Because it's on the list. Oh, how yeah. long, let me, can I ask, what, yeah. how long does this go for? I we're know, about to, we're wrapping up right now. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Check this out. Watch this. Tell me if you think this is horrible or hilarious. Okay. If this is to be. This guy, if, you're, if you're listening, there's a guy standing on like his back patio and then there's balled up barbed wire on the yeah. ground in front of him. It looks like he's going to do some type of jackass move here. Go ahead. Okay. This is Supreme T-shirt today, and we jump you onto barbed wire. This is for Juggalos and Juggalettes. 
Don't try this at home. I hope you like it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, shirt off. <laughs> Fuck this shit! Oh, oh my fucking god! <laughs> I think it's funny because it's a juggalo and they're yeah. inherently not bright. I mean, it's someone doing it to themselves, which is kind of... Yeah, it's voluntary you dummy. Know, it's not like someone threw him into it. Is that where it ends? Jesus. It's really oh, dumb. Bad. That guy's vote counts as much as mine. Yeah, right. isn't that crazy? <laughs> he makes a decision. That's the real crazy part. <laughs> that at some, we're on an equal yep. level playing field in America. And I'll just make this the point for you. This fucking idiot. I'll make I the point know, for bro. you. It's a white guy. Stupid white guy. <laughs> so... You vote. That's why we. The I voting, don't think the democracy voting. is working. I think we need a philosopher. Is there another King. one? No. You know, I think we just got to get rid of electoral college. But that's my opinion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, it was so, really a dandy to be here. Great. Do you have any shows coming up you want uh, to plug? What is Madison, it Wisconsin. Oh, Madison. Madison. Are you doing I've never been there State? before. It's fun. Are you doing comedy it's really fun. So I'm. I, yeah. This I'm weekend. on comedy, comedy at state. Comedy, comedy. Well, I don't know state? what it's called, but mm -hmm. um, I'm going to be in Madison this weekend. Is this come out this week? No. Next week. It comes out next week. Well, am I anywhere next week? Um, next week you are in... Actually, I'm not sure. I don't go anywhere next week. What's I, your Ontario website? BobbyLeeLive.com. Yeah, yeah. Bobby Let's, Lee Lee Let's pull it up. Just Live. To make sure. I want to make sure. Uh, you see your website down. <laughs> your Bobby website's down, bro. It's not. God, you, you know... Is it, babe? No, it's not. There it is. Okay. Uh, and let's pull up those Is that your dates. body? Yeah. So where is he? Oh, Ontario. I said Ontario. The Tempe Improv is in there. May. So you've got your May dates I get that. up. Comedy That's good. Club, okay. Madison, yes. And then Ontario, California. Okay. So Ontario. That's the and then you're doing comedy works. Love that August, room. Which is oh, amazing. Oh, Eleanor Kerrigan's with you. She's great. Yeah, Eleanor's great. And then you're going to be in Oxnard. Yeah, at that's that Live, okay. Which is great. Uh, Laugh Out Loud. Laugh out I did. Loud. That room's tough. And then Arlington Draft Again. House. Okay. Omaha, Nebraska. Funny Bone. Love Nebraia. that. Omaha, Fun. Funny Bone. These are all great. Yeah. So uh, go to Bobby Lee Live. Get tickets now. Go see him. He's an amazing, hilarious comedian. And I thought tonight, today's podcast went fine. <laughs> I thought it was yeah. good. I thought it was good chemistry and good energy. Do you want us to go out Do on the Asian song? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Ching else? Chong, Ching Chong. That one. You want to fuck with my mic? <laughs> that one? That one? Yeah. I like that There's one. two of them. Oh, what's the other one? Well, because there's one that somebody made. Ching Chong. Ching, Ching Chong. Ching, like this. Ching Chong. Ching, Ching Chong. Ching. Chong. I like the other one. Ding, 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 the other one. You want to fuck with my money? Yeah. <laughs> First you got the money. It's this real. It's this like ghetto, um, hood Asian lady, who says crazy shit, um, and somebody made songs from her saying it. So, if that's the right one, then we'll do that one. Um, Bobby Lee. You can see him on tour. You can check out the amazing. Um, Tiger Belly Podcast. Tiger Belly Podcast. This is the girl, by with the way. With my girlfriend, Kalila. With Kalila. What's your Kalila and me. This is the origin of the song, just so you know where it's coming from. Hey, shit, without them eyelashes on that makeup on. A bitch, where? I'm still cute as shit. Get the fuck up out of here. I might look a little bit more ching chong, ching chong. Don't get me fucked up, bitch. I'm still hood as shit, and we'll fuck your ass up. She's okay, Asian. you want to fuck with my money, huh? You want to fuck with my money? <laughs> That's an Asian person. Uh, now you know. Uh, is, this, is this her? Oh, really? Play it. Is you that want to fuck clip? with my mind? Holy shit. And we haven't seen the clip in, I don't know how many years. Years. That's her? Okay. Hey, shit without them eyelashes oh, yeah. on that makeup on. A bitch, where? I'm still cute as shit. Get the fuck up out of here. I might look a little bit more ching chong, ching chong. But don't get me fucked up, bitch. I'm still hood as shit and we'll fuck your ass up. Okay, you want to fuck with my mind, huh? You want to fuck with my mind? There you go. <laughs> Dude, why don't you do that on stage? Oh, my God. My God, I hate that lady. You do? Yeah, that we're, I just come from a different stock. What do you mean? Yeah, she's Vietnamese. That's what no, mean. that's what I want to say. Oh, sorry. What'd you mean? Don't try to do that. I thought that's what you meant. I just want to say that I come from a different stock. Mm. You're much better than her. That's not what I'm saying. We're all we're, equal. We're all no, things. we're not. Your dad made a list. We're not. There's fucking little people out there. We're not all equal. That's true. You're right. I mean, I'll, I'll go. Us, I will go with you on that one. <laughs> I'll I'll start a war with you. I'm on I'm an that adult, one. man. I shit on a plate when yeah. I have to go. Because when I see Brad going. Williams, yeah, I secretly laugh behind his back. Jesus, man. Oh my God, I love Brad. Oh, I have some uh, off mic questions for you. I'm kidding. Oh, you're kidding? Yeah, we're done this rolling. Is, this is your so thing. So who's to, the Korean guy? Yeah. 
All right, but if you air this. Oh, uh, no, no, no. You can't do it. Sorry. You're so then you lied. You lied? You know what? What's happened to you? You used to be so cool. Tiger Belly <laughs> featuring Kalila and you her friend. lie like that? Kalila and her friend Bobby. <laughs> Um, he wouldn't have cared. When are you guys going to come back to I, our... Wait, hold on. I, loved you. I love your podcast. Wait, wait, wait. It's the best. You were great today. Oh, Kalila's always a winner. Great. Can I tell you something? She shows up. She looks great. She sounds great. She has great input. She's funny. You're She's a engaging. You're a Thank you. She really is. She dresses cool. I know. You are smelly. You're smelly. Whatever. You're weird. You're weird. eccentric. Freak a man when he's down. You're, you're gross. Kind of ruin our equipment. You're disgusting. Yeah. You're, no one likes you. Right. Yeah. He's a project human. That's what I like. <laughs> He's a fixer upper. He is. he is. You're like a shelter dog. When can we, we come rescue. back? When can we come back to Tiger? Yeah, Boy? yeah. Let's Anytime. Do it. Ooh, and our new our new place. Yeah. <gasps> We're gonna so do it. So place. cramped. So we can have yes, the both of you on. Yeah. I'd love it. Yeah. I would love it. You let it, let us get it set up. Um, I want you. I want to honestly thank you for having me on your podcast. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate it. I love you. I think you're. The I best. really honestly. No, I'm being real. I know. I when I see you. Yeah. Okay. You're so ridiculous. Forget it. Tell me. That's okay. You're ridiculous. Tell me. I love it. you. Me. Bobby Lee, we love Just you. Stop. Just tell me what you're going to say. It's better this way. Tell me what you're going to say. All right. When I see. <laughs> when you see me. Yeah. Tell me. I, I, I My heart flutters. Oh. I get heart pop on rotations. <laughs> uh, that makes me feel you. good. That makes I me honestly good. think that you are um, probably, you're very funny. Thanks. But you're also a kind hearted guy. Thank you. And I think that um, you... And Bill Burr, you guys are the future. Wow. It's very nice. Future very of nice. Maybe racist Burt, maybe Burt, white comedians? <laughs> Why you have to take it there? You ruined the whole thing. What? So you mentioned Burt. I like him too. That's where we differ. Yeah, Vaughn's good too. Huh? Anyway. There we go. Bye. Bye. Bye, mommies. Ching chong, ching chong. Ching chong, ching chong. You want to hear the song? Ching chong, ching chong. It's a good song. Listen to it. Because it's so racist. It's not. Ching chong, ching chong. Listen to it. Listen. Hold on. You didn't wait for the bass to drop. Come on. Listen. It's a good song, though, right? Like, they're getting good. Catch it. Oh, good song. Oh, I'm a bad mother because I make crazy ass videos. She don't care about nothing but her fucking nuts. So whatever, come on little side bitch, let's go get you some self-respect and dignity in a life. Don't accidentally stick your dick in the wrong hole, stick your dick in the wrong hole. Stick your dick in the wrong hole, stick your dick in the wrong hole. Stick your dick in the wrong hole, stick your dick in the wrong hole. Stick your dick in the wrong hole, stick your dick in the wrong hole. Bitch out here sucking dick, bitch out here sucking. Bitch out here sucking dick, bitch out here sucking. I can't stand when somebody comment under one of my videos. Is she high? No, motherfucker, I am blessed. <laughs> Hi, Mommy. Thanks, Jeans. Thank you for watching this episode of Your Mom's House. And if you had a great time, watch more videos here, here, here. And don't forget to subscribe here, here, here so that you will know when a Your Mom's House video comes out immediately. Thanks, Jeans. <laughs>